Yo, what's good? What is happening, people? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna lose it. <laughs> what is happening, guys? What's good, everyone? I mean, we've got a lot of people in here tonight. Where are we at? Where are we at with our peoples? We've got Almighty Cop, Brandon, Brian G, Donatello, Dastardly Dog. I mean, yeah, man. Crazy B, hands up. Got my moderators in here. Amar P, Born. Who we got? Alan. Ioannis, how you doing? Yasu, man. Jeremy. Laura, Mamba for life, what's good Mamba, Luke, Luke Sky Vapor, what's happening, Kamarian man, we got the Dutchie in here, Mike Dutch, you know, you can hear my voice, it's going man, PC Shed, oh my guy, PC Shed, oh guys, we, we, we got something, we got a surprise for you man, later on in the stream, you guys are going to go crazy at this, you're going to go crazy at this story man, I'm telling you now. You know, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. I saw that Pastor Tino gonna preach, man. What are you talking, man? Yeah, what's everyone saying? Is everyone all good, man? What's happening with everyone? You sound like you have short hair. How on earth do you work that out, man? Old school back. What's going on, man? Polka dot good, probably. Yeah, Mo Gardi, what's happening, man? All right, Luke, man. Probably, man, but we'll have a look at those in a bit, man. We've got some structure going on tonight. You know, we've got the market open happening, okay? You know, so we've got to pay attention. Sydney's going to open in literally two minutes. I timed it so that we've got some activity, you know? Tino secretly reading all the comments before this. <laughs> does, does this second job come with a 401? What? <laughs> yeah, we, listen, guys, we've got some structure in tonight's live, man. We've got some structure. First, we're just going to, you know, we're just going to warm ourselves up a little bit. All right. And then we're going to start. We're going to review last night's price action. All right. We need to understand what happened last night. All right, so that we can move forward and anticipate a projection in today's in today's markets that are going to be opening. All right. And then I'm going to reveal that little surprise that we got for you. That's going to hype you guys up crazy. And the story behind it is wild. All right. And then what we'll do towards towards the Hong Kong session. All right. We'll start taking in, you know, coins that you guys want to see. All right, we'll get some patterns drawn on them, get some projections done, and we'll see what's going down with that. All right, cool. So let's see who we got here, man. All right, thank you for who, yo, hey, Asylum, thank you, bro. Not fully understood the patterns or entry points better yet, but getting there slowly. Listen, you, you, you will get them, man. Curtis, what's up, man? 37, 30% down payment on a house for the girlfriend and yourself, man. You know what, okay, Kurt? It's fair play to you, bro. That is wild. You people buying property in this stream, bro. What is that? <laughs> people buying property, man. That is wild. That is crazy, man. I'm a 500 starting soon. The good news first. You on the good news? Nah, I can't give you the good news yet, man. Ian, man, if you're watching that, that's fire, you know. Watch the course, man, it pays, you know. Yeah, look, if you're going to trade, this is what I mean about the weekend, guys, you know. They'll move price into a zone, you know, from Friday, you know, Saturday night, right. But then that's it. They won't move it again. Why? Because they've got the market opening in just a few seconds it should be opening now what time is it have we hit 10 yet yeah we should hit 10 in a minute well we have hit 10 but for some reason the brokers sweet there you go it opens three minutes later all right happy days 
So we'll see where Ethereum's ended up. She's staying where she is. Yeah, she's going to stay where she is right now. All right, then. So let's have a look at the comments on what you guys are saying, man. Yeah, you finished this course. The good thing is he 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 helps you out with the patterns. But you remember, it's all on Forex. You know, all of it is to do with Forex. He ain't giving you no inkling about cryptocurrency. But you can apply it across the board, you know. And that's what it's about. But I don't understand anything else. So I haven't made a successful trade. Sam, just take a trade, man. You know, it's not financial advice. You know, just do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. You need to expose yourself to the strategy. There's no point sitting down waiting for the strategy to come to you and think, you know what? Hey, there's a W. Hey, there's an M. You know what? Enter now. Never going to happen. You need to familiarize yourself with more patterns. All right. That's what these streams are about. These streams are about getting you used to seeing variations of the pattern. And the more patterns, the more patterns you see, you know, the better it is for you. Is the mic quiet? Do you want me to turn up the mic, guys? Can you hear me? How's that? Is that all good? Is the mic all good? Yeah, you can hear him fine. Shark fin. Who's got the shark fin? Where's the shark fin at? I ain't seen Ethereum move yet. I'm gonna bring up um I'm gonna bring up trading view. I'm gonna bring up trading view. And then we'll see where we are with the plays. Huh? What's going on there? There we go. We got them back. There you go. Wicked. All right, cool. All right, let me just take consideration to what we've got saying. PC people won't hear the difference, but phone people will. How shark fin look like? Okay, if you like it, go for the coin. It's hard to see with the coin. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice one, Jonathan. Nice one. Yeah. So tonight, guys, we're gonna sit through the free markets tonight, man. We're gonna hit those free markets, okay? So what I want to know: Did anyone take any trades today? That's what I want to know. Is anyone taking any trades? No trades. It took serious discipline to not trade, okay? Yep, yep, yep. No, no, no. Yep, 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 yep. No, 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 no. I mean, look, guys. You want to start trading these, 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 you know, retail trader setups that are designed to suck them in. You know, be my guest. But if you're going to do it, trade light. If you've made any money, happy days, man. You you survived in, in the order of the chaos. You know, just but just be careful. All right? You got out fast, always just buy, okay. <laughs> John. <laughs> Look, guys, don't rep don't think that you can replicate that sort of behavior or consistency every single week, you know? Until people are saying that, you know, they're not they're not losing so much on a weekend, then you know, trade the weekends. But guys, just don't, man. Just wait till the market plays out. We ain't gonna miss anything. All right, grant him, yes, look at this move right here. Happy days, everything went in our favor. The pattern played out to the T, all right? And then we obviously have an M formation right here, which is a little bit higher than the actual peak itself, but that's all good. Why? Because we see stopping volume right here, pin to the high and pull back, all right? We witnessed the market maker stepping in and look what happens. Drop, rise, retrace, another little retrace, continuation to the downside, only if, the intention is there by the market makers to send price lower, you know? What have we got here? Almost FOMO'd in, in, FOMO'd in, took three deep breaths thinking, yep. Always ask yourselves, guys, all right? Always ask yourselves, what does the market maker want me to think, all right? Ask yourselves that question. Because once you establish that, then, you know, you don't need to trade, you know? Okay. 
something that I'm going to like doing as well, guys. I always want to start the streams off with where is the money going? All right, that's what I want to try and do right now. I just want to see where the money's going. So I'm going to bring up this bad boy web page that everybody seems to like. This is the web page. All right. So, I mean, it's always going to be the US, you know? It's always going to be the US. People are getting up now. You've got Korea. I mean, Japan, not yet. Europe, you know, so we can see where everything's at, you know? But also, I wanted to explore with you guys as well, all right? Bitcoin's target that it hit today. So we need to see that right there. Here we go. I mean, that is just a perfect move. You know, you've got the rise. Whoops. You have a W formation right there. We've got the rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. All right. That was the 50. That move from here was for the 50 day. Sorry, was for the 50K price point, you know, and it hit it. And obviously it went on to make further ground. But you would, you know, you would have paid yourself ages ago. You know, look right there. The M4 hit nicely. Up it went, you know. What's good, Ryan Matter? What is happening, bro? <laughs> I know you peoples are using this, bro. People telling you to use it, yeah? <laughs> no, this is a bad website, bro. Honestly, it's the best website, man. Last night when we put it on, people went nuts for it. Like, what is this? You know, it was a mad, mad web page. You know, it's kind of good as well because we kind of see the activity before the market kicks. That's what we realized about it. You know, and you can see what's happening right now. They're just... They're just sending money to the US, but Russia, no, sorry, Korea. Korea's that underdog, man. They are taxing as much of it as possible, but I'm not seeing anything from Japan, all right? So yeah, I mean, just looking at the pattern so far with Bitcoin, we are still expecting another move to the upside, straight up. Why? Because we've done one day of cycle, all right? We've had another day of cycle. Right now, we've got consolidation, okay? So you could assume that price is now coming to form a W, rise, come back to retest, retrace, continuation to the upside. That would be the final, that would effectively be the final sequence to this formation. We've got one day rise, two days rise, retrace, continuation, final day rise, and then we'll be looking at a peak formation. So my projection for Bitcoin is going to be, yeah, it's going to hit the 52,500 and then form a peak formation. That's what I'm expecting it to do. I need it to hit that zone right there. It hits that zone right there, it will then realistically, well, effectively start a peak formation in that zone, okay? That's what we're looking for with Bitcoin. But then let me, I mean, yeah. So I mean, last night, it just she just worked a treat. She really did work a treat last night. And if this pattern plays out here, Look at the aggressive move, guys. And you only seen one aggressive candle, but that was because it was, <coughs> excuse me, you know, there's no market makers. You know, so you've got to be careful. That's one vector candle. We ideally want to see two, three tops. So we could see price retrace a little bit and then pull back. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this pattern actually does play out. Right, let's just reduce the W. But look where we are. We are below the 50-day, finding support at the 200-day on the 15-minute time frame, which means price on the one-hourly is sitting right there on the 50-day. Yeah? So can you see it? Look. One-day rise. See, that's the thing, guys. When you consider the one-hour time frame, all right, you're going to see more cycles on the 15-minute than you are going to see on the hourly. Okay? Now, the hourly is one day rise, retrace, two days rise, okay? Do you see that? Do you see how you can get thrown off? It all It's all relative to the time frame that you're trading, all right? Because one day rise right here, this is one session rise, that's level one, retrace, continuation up is level two. So if we take the bigger picture, right, you have got this pattern. right? You've got that pattern right there. Now, what's important, you have to understand that you have to look at the difference right here, guys, all right? Because this is where you guys are going to get thrown off. Lag? Nah, there can't be lag, man. 
there can't be lag. YouTube show me excellent connection. There ain't no lag here, bro. If there's a lag, I'm putting this laptop in the bin. Maybe if I cut off my phone internet, I'll do that just to free up the Wi-Fi because this ain't even plugged in. Yeah, okay. No lag, no lag, no lag, no lag. Happy, happy, happy days. All right, cool, no lag. That's nice to see. Let's project these patterns. All right, cool, man, no worries. Let's go. Let me just take a little sip of the cup of char. My drink is kind of cold, but I ain't going into no break right now. Who is the market maker? I am. The market maker, break up the two words. He makes the market, you know? How's it going, Navid? Guys, yeah, listen, I'm going to be running through all the coins. Don't worry. We've got to Hong Kong, baby. We've got three hours in here right now, nearly three, four hours. We're going to be sitting nicely, right? And we're going to be going through coins. I'm effectively going to be giving you guys projections. Where do I think coins are going to go? You know, unless Elon decides to step in and say, you know, buy Ethereum or buy Bitcoin. Yeah, tea's a tea, man. Cold or hot, it doesn't matter. You know, a tea's a cup of tea, you know? Um, right, let me see, just before I continue with what I was just talking about, because I know someone is wanting to hear that, all right? Um, let's have a look. 794 of you in the room, 352 likes. That's a fantastic ratio for someone who doesn't care about their likes ratio, but I do. So if you don't mind, guys, can we raise up the likes to match the viewers? That will be truly appreciated. Now let's get back to these charts. Here we go. So as I was saying just a moment ago, right, you can get thrown off depending on what time frame you're going to trade. Now you need to listen to this. Just a moment ago on the 15 minute time frame, I just gave you this concept, okay? I gave you a rise, drop, rise, drop. We're expecting another rise to the upside, okay? So we're safe to say that's level one, level two, and we're waiting for another move to the upside, level three, peak formation, drop. However, drop it down to the hour time frame. It's a different story, okay? Now this is the question, this is a, this is gonna answer the question for people who say, why do you use the hourly and why do you use the 15 minute, all right? So here we go. Look at the peak formation down here, when actually the bigger picture, the bigger formation is right here, look. Right? So you kind of get thrown off a little bit. And this is where you come to, to showcase yourself as a trader. This is where you always have to respond to what's going on. Here's the bigger picture. We've got a bigger W here, all right? A pattern within a pattern, all right? So where are we in terms of a cycle? Well, let's try and take the bigger the W, the better, well, Sorry, the better the projection is going to be based off what we understand from it. So, large W formation. We've got the first move away from the peak and then it pulls back. Everybody knows that whenever price breaks away from the W formation, it always pulls back to test the 50 day. Look at what we're doing. You know, let's get involved. What do we see in this area here, guys? Let's see. What do we see in this area? What do we see in this area? I want quick answers. Come on. See the cross. We're still at level one. We see the cross. Pins to the low. Okay. Test the 50. Four looks. Look at the four. I'll, look, I'll do that in a sec, SV. Three pins. That's all I needed to see. Rossetti, well done. Rosetti's world, she did it. Three pins to the low, one, two, three. What does that tell you? Stinks of market maker, stinks, you know? Can they lay their hand anymore? Granted, it could actually drop down from this point, but let's just consider the mo, you know, how many times are you gonna see that happen and then it moves away, all right? Let's say you're successful 65, 75% of the time, okay? But then look, look at the bigger picture, all right? We've got a W formation right here. 
price moves out, it pulls back to test the first 50 day moving average. Okay, we need price, all right, to form a close above the five and the 13 EMA. Just look closely, I'm giving you the strategy. We need the five and the 13 to cross over, all right, to give us the signal. But before they cross over, price needs to be up here, all right, it needs to continue up here, all right. Then, what are we anticipating for Bitcoin? I'll tell you exactly what we're anticipating. The projection is as follows. From the low of here to the up, we're pulling back. Continuation to the upside. My projection, because we are in level one, okay, and it's a controlled move to the upside, I'm, an, I'm anticipating Bitcoin to effectively hit. What on earth is that? Right, forget that. Let's get rid of that. I'm expecting Bitcoin to get to at least 55, at least 55K. That's where I'm expecting Bitcoin to go. Yep, that's my projection. 55K Bitcoin. That's not financial advice, guys. That's just me just telling you what I anticipate to happen in the future. It may or may not happen, you know? But we're going to call it the happy days projection. Happy days projection, guys. That's where we are. All right. So what we need, will Bitcoin pull back from this point? Of course it will, man. Don't think it won't. You'd be stupid to think that. Okay. It's related. It's moved from here. It could be rise, retrace. I mean, look, we've got an M5 in sight. So naturally, we're going to break away from it, go up a little bit, pull back, continuation to the upside. What are we seeing? The pattern. All right. So we will come back to this tomorrow night. Remember, we're here every single night. All right. So that's the bigger picture of the, uh, of Bitcoin, guys. But let's look at something else. Let's look at something else. If it is what I think it is, if it's going to be there, I will be very, very happy. If it isn't, then it will be very interesting. Ah, oh, God, it is. It is there as well. Okay. Okay. So this is the power of using this this strategy as well because it's all good. You can use the you, you know you can use the the um, trading view, all right. But here's the power of this. Watch this. Let me flip it up for you. Get you that transition right there. All right. Just watch what happens here, guys. You can see Bitcoin right here. Yeah. What do we see? Stopping volume. One, two, three pins to the low, man. Right there. I haven't got my annotation tool here, man. But it's all good. Three pins to the low. Stopping volume. Massive red candle. Look what it's doing. It's retracing back up to it. You know? And I'm just waiting to see when they're, yeah, they're still, so they're open, yeah. So IC Markets is open. I am expecting Bitcoin to hit. The 55k let me bring up that here you go <laughs> 50 there you go the range daily high is 54.805 i said 55k all right so i'm out just a little bit but 55k that's where your projections at you know unbelievable that's the projection right there guys i'm gonna get that line that's a projection right there but also what are we forming guys what are we forming hmm can anybody notice anything on the chart? What are we forming? I'm going to give you a clue. It's in this whole area here. What are we forming? I need to know you guys are understanding this shit, man. Because if you're not, then I'm not, you know, I'm doing all of this in vain. You know? Tell me what you guys can see in this area here. If I have to, I'll draw a box around it. But tell me what it is you see if you've been listening. No. I'm going to tell you exactly. No. No. No, 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 no. Look closely. What were we talking about last week? Okay, yes, yesterday. And I, I, I showed you an example. Here's the clue, support and resistance. What, what can you see? I'm waiting for someone to say it. Boom, stop. Guys, stop. Romero. He said it, the range. Romero said it, it's the range, all right? The range is there. 
I hope that's what you were talking about, bro. The green lines. Okay. I mean, yeah, cup guys, look, if you're going to come up with the patterns, okay, fair enough. Yeah, you can see patterns here, okay? It's not the context that I'm looking at, all right? But you can see the range. This is the market maker range right here. Now, technically, there shouldn't be no trades tonight or tomorrow. Why? Because we're going to know when they've come away from this range, right? And tonight, tonight, we will know if this range is going to hold. All right, so tonight, tomorrow, we're going to know if this range is going to hold. All right, we understand that this range right here is the market maker's zone. So they're going to use tonight and tomorrow to establish this whole zone. We'll see if they have intentions of sending Bitcoin higher because Bitcoin has been dropping quite a lot. Okay, let me just fix this up, man, because that is just crazy. Look, it's been dropping. It needs to realize a return for its monies. So this is how you work out the projections. Here we go. We've got a zone right here. That's one area for Bitcoin. We have got another zone up here near the all time high. That is another zone for Bitcoin 57. Yeah, all day it will hit 57, I believe, based in line with the peak formation. Well, what was that? Yeah. I'm expecting that zone to get taken as well. Is there anywhere else that I can see? Yeah, there could be. Yeah, no, that'll be in line with that one. Okay, so those are the two projections that I've got with Bitcoin right there. All right, I'm expecting, I'm expecting her to keep rising from this point here. Mad size, yeah. She's going to move from this point, take out this blue area, aim for the M5, retrace, continuation to the upside. Why? Because we'll be in effectively the second cycle. We're waiting for level two to play out on the hourly. Remember, yeah, all right? Remember, the 15-minute time frame allows, you know, you see more cycles in the 15-minute time frame. You will see the cycle, you know, the W formation all the way up to the M pattern down to the W. You'll see that a lot in the W in the 15-minute time frame, okay? But on the hourly, it's a different ball game. Nah, cute master. This is I've got perfect, excellent condition connection. I've got YouTube. You know, stream health is absolutely excellent. It says, you know, made sure it's excellent. I'm not ever having that lag story again. No chance. You know. Okay, for back to let me explain the ranges to the these. Okay. Um, all right, guys. How many of you are new in here? Just it's your first time coming into the stream. I just want to know who, who I'm dealing with. Just get a consensus of the people that I've got in here. How many are new to the stream tonight? Just give me a yes and that's it. Thank you. No Tim Foyle. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Chat's doing good today, man. Chat's doing good. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Well, guys, listen, this channel is about introducing you and getting you to understand the concept of the market maker's behavior, okay? You might come across a couple of terms that you're not familiar with. My advice to you is to go back and watch a couple of the streams. Yes, they are long streams, but you can do it in two ways. You can just have it playing in the background, all right? And then when you're ready, you can actually just watch the charts at the same time, all right? But my advice to you is to go back and watch the streams. There are guys that have done just that and have completely changed their lives around. One guy in particular, okay, I've never known this gentleman before. He's, I never knew he was in my chats or anything like that. He just followed the channel and he's turned 12 grand all the way to 65K. That was the last time he that I understood when he was posting his profits. I know for a fact now that could be more, all right, because the guy is ripping it. He's taken the content from the actual channel, the, the videos that are in the channel right now, studied it, listened to it, clocked in about two, three hundred hours worth of watch time, and the guy's killing it. You know, I think yeah, today tells me he plays 20 trades and won every single one of them. This guy has a despicable record. Placed 10 trades, um, won nine of them. You know, it's just crazy how this guy is just is consistent. And he was in the stream four weeks ago. He had no idea about this. Four weeks ago, he popped in. Make sure you join the Discord because we've got a perfect, a wonderful community. You know, 
There's no BS in the Discord, man. Everyone is helping everyone, all right? And that's my goal from this channel is to help everyone understand the market, all right? So let's get on with it. So you get the idea with Bitcoin, guys, all right? Now, let me bring back the... Let's, t let's talk about Ethereum on MT4 and then we'll go into Ethereum on TradingView, all right? Look at the zone here, guys. Look. They are holding this zone unbelievably. And I think tonight, Ethereum may look to take out the 1700 because there's too much support here, man. Way too much. I mean, look, they have not allowed price to go down. And if anyone took a screenshot of this, okay, they tried to break it for previously there, pivot point came into play. I mean, you could actually assume that this could be a W formation. All right. Remember, I said to you, these videos are all about exposing you guys to multiple W formations and M formations. You know, some would say, is that an M formation? Is that a head and shoulders? Well, you know what? We're not going to know until it plays out. There you go. There's one. There's two. And there's there's three. What is that? Well, we got ourselves a rise. OK, we've got the retrace. And then we've got the continuation up. And then you've got the M pattern. All right. So we're only going to know which one plays out based on what happens from this point on. So if it continues and breaks to the upside, it invalidates the M. All right. If it continues to the downside, you could see this as a drop retrace continuation to the downside. It hits the 200 day on the 15 minute time frame. Drops down to the 800 EMA on the 15 minute time frame. Okay. Happy days closes the gap but i genuinely believe there's a lot of strength in ethereum right now because they've just been holding this zone they've held it so long you know m4 in sight 1769 that's my projection for ethereum on the basis that this w formation plays out okay and the fact that this rise level one okay continues to the upside so we're expecting another move to the upside guys another move to the upside all right that's what we're expecting. So, let's have a look here. What we got here now? I'm not interested in that. We pull that back there. Here we go. Yeah, look, Ethereum, man. Ethereum is bouncing from the pivot point, rising out the M3. I need Ethereum to break out the M3. Yeah, this M pattern is going to be invalidated, man. There's too much. There's too much strength here. They've been selling off a long time. They need to get their money in good. All right. So what we're waiting for now is Ethereum to go higher. My projection, the near-term projection should be, let's make it the 17.30 before it pulls back. 17.30 before it pulls back, we're going to go rise up. We're going to go retrace, continuation to the upside. 17.30 would be that point. And then we should see, yeah, we should see the M4 at some point this evening. But remember, it's Sunday, Monday, false move week beginning, you know? We're only going to know their intentions when they lay their hand. All right. Let's go back to the page that I want to look at. Okay. What have we got here? Bitcoin is holding well. Who said that? Who said Ben? That W just broke 200 EMA. Ben, on what currency? On what pair? Ethereum or Bitcoin just broke the 200 on what time frame? I'm guessing it must be Ethereum. I'm guessing it is Ethereum. Nah, man, look at Ethereum, man. She's pumping good. Let's look at last night's prediction. There you go. Projection zone. She narrowly missed it, guys, man. She narrowly missed it. But it looks like she could potentially hit it. So a nice little exactly as projected <laughs> BS. <laughs> All right, look at the W formation right here. Pin to the low, pin to the low, pin to the low right there. Fourth pin to the low, you know? Okay, then, here we are. 1,005 of you in the room, guys, and we got 559 likes. Let's get with the program, guys, because we got a surprise for you later on, which is probably going to blow your minds. You know, it, it took me by surprise. I'll tell you that. It was dropped on me today. I did not anticipate it. Man, 
you know, I just don't know how to deal with it. Okay then. Elon just brought Bitcoin. Oh, typical for you to say that. I wish we could hit the like button a hundred times. God bless you, man. Okay then. Right. Let's just see what's happening here, man, because Ethereum is moving. Let's bring it down to the 15 minute time frame. Here we go. See, look at this, guys. This is what I mean about understanding the pattern, okay? Look at this red candle here. Now, granted, anyone that saw this pattern here was probably believing that Ethereum was tanking, you know? And there were probably a lot of people that were riding on that tank, you know? What's your opinion on Bitcoin GHCME gaps? Well, it's, to be honest with you, they're no different to the Forex gaps, you know? It's just an expo explosion in price. You know, that's what I understand about it. I mean, to be honest, you don't really fully understand it. I just see if there's a gap, there's a window, I'm closing it or it's going to play away from it. If it plays away from it, boy, you know, it's strength. You know, when they don't close any gaps. Wow. You know, you're dealing with some serious paper there. Serious paper, you know. Yep. Daily projections, no predictions. Let's go. I mean, I'm just paying attention to Ethereum and Bitcoin. Let's have a look. Oh man, my voice is going crazy again. I mean, look at what she's doing here, man. Look at what both of them are doing. I need to draw the projection zones on Bitcoin. So we've got the rise. Where are we at? Look at the rise, rise, retrace, up, that's done there, playing out from this point here. So we anticipate that area. Hypothetically, you know, there would be no trades until this area gets confirmed, you know? can see that the M4 is in play right there. If I bring up that. God, man, Ethereum looks like she's pumping, man. Ethereum does look like she's pumping. What's Fiat Leak saying? <laughs> what are the ladies doing, man? <laughs> I got crypto COVID. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> crypto COVID. Yeah. The dumb money student. Yeah. Are you incorporating the dumb money, Ryan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dumb money, smart money, guys. That's the concept right there. You know, market makers, they're the smart money. Retail traders, banks, institutional funds, hedge funds, you name it. Governments, bonds, pensions, insurance pools. They're the dumb money. They come to the market maker to get their orders filled, all right? But we ain't about that, man. We're awareness of the smart money and the dumb money. Yeah, he lost it. <laughs> Autos, how you doing? Autos, how you doing, my friend? Autos is saying something. Uniswap about to drop. Let's see what Uniswap is saying. Hmm. Uniswap is doing what she needs to do. W formation, rise, level one. Level two. W formation, breakout. Price projection. I'm expecting 35 to get hit. At least 35 to get hit. Yeah, that is nice. That is a nice move. 34, 35, that's what I'm looking for. Perfect. Adriana, how you doing? Arnold, how you doing? I've got my regulars coming into this, man. What's going on, guys? What's going on? The stream has gone crazy, guys. You know, make sure you get the likes up, guys. 
you know, sorry to keep asking you, but we've got to stick with the algorithm. And if you're new to this channel, I mean, you're going to get some flavor tonight, guys. You're going to enjoy tonight's stream. You know, we're just browsing the coins right now. We're just seeing what projections play out. I mean, this W formation right here is happening with Ethereum. I'm expecting her to rise out from here. She should pull back continuation to the upside. 1736. I mean, look, why can't we hit the 1800? That would be my absolute projection for for Ethereum this week. At some point, she should hit the 1800. Only because there's one, more, there's a couple of more cycles to the upside on the hourly on the on the for Ethereum. Okay, what's good, man? What's good? What's good? Hey, man. You know, man. I know this channel is wild. It's gone crazy, man. <laughs> Ada's fucked up. Why? What's happened to Ada, man? New Zealand, what's good, man? What's good? What time is the reveal? No, there's no reveal, there, but there is a surprise tonight. There is a crazy-ass surprise here, man. Yes, Tony, what's good, man? Were you in with the music, guys? The guys, the start of the stream, okay? We had some music, all right, from one of the artists signed by Tony, man. You know? To be honest with you, I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now, guys. I mean, look at Uniswap, man. That's crazy. Autos, are you in that trade? Okay, because you can see tonight, guys, everyone is moving across the board. Okay, let's just have a look here. Are we seeing money coming in? Yeah, most likely, yeah. Bitcoin is moving money. Everyone is moving. But more importantly, Ethereum is moving. Uni is moving. Altcoins are moving. Let me just see one more thing. Bitcoin, what are you doing? Bitcoin is moving. I mean, guys, look what Bitcoin's doing, man. Just look at Bitcoin for two seconds. What do we know about tonight's behavior, guys? Come on, straight up. What do we know about it? It begins with an F and it ends and it starts with a D. <laughs> fractional disparity, man. Look at it. The fractional disparity is this, right? Everything is moving. Um, I've not seen this yet. I've not seen the altcoins, Ethereum, Bitcoin, all moving in synchronicity, okay? Look at them, pumping up. We're coming out to a zone with Bitcoin. Where are we looking to go with that? The average daily range? Happy days. I'm taking 52, but my projection for Bitcoin is 55. I'm ready for 55. Before we get to 55, most likely, we are going to see a retrace. Ethereum the same. 1780, that's where I'm looking for Ethereum to go, to at least hit its um, average daily range. Why? Because we expect it to move that much. And it brings us to the cycle. We've got cycle one, retrace cycle two to the upside. Sorry, tell a lie. Yeah, let's drop down to the hourly for a minute. Let's drop down to the hourly. West London, what's good, bro? What's going on? All right, we've got a W formation down here. Look, W formation, rise, retrace, up, okay? W formation, price breaks out away from the formation, retraces, test of 50 day. Guys, pay attention to this shit, man. Look, let me just close this off here, right? Screenshot that. Just remember, screenshot it. Every time price breaks away from the, fit, from the peak formation, okay, it always pulls back. When it pulls back, it hits the moving average right here. Look at that. Pins to the low. See you later, bruv. Trapping up the shorts. Off we go. Induces the traders into the belief that price is going to continue from the 50-day moving average because what are retail traders? They're dumb money, all right? They base their entries on excitement, on fear, on greed, and that's what the market maker does. He induces traders. That's the term. You are induced to make a trade. How many people are like, yo, I need to trade this weekend. I need to place trades. I need to do this. I need to do this. What? You know? What's the point? What is the point in trading during these times? You know? Shitbag. See you later. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> All right. And cool. So, yeah, we got level one coming out. All right. Level one rise. Now we're working for level two rise. I'm waiting for another move to the upside, guys. Ethereum's going to be pumping up. If we don't hit 1800 at least before Wednesday, then I'll be very, very concerned about Ethereum. All right, where we at? Bitcoin pulling up there. Okay, we've got that projection zone. All right, then cool. Let me just pull up a couple of other coins. Sue's talking to me. Ah, yes, we got Forex this evening. Don't worry about that. Do not worry. I got some Forex plays for you as well. 
I've got Forex plays for you. Oh, Jeremy Johnson experience. I'll take that challenge gladly, sir. Okay, then. You want Dogecoin? Huh? Here we go. Right, where are we at? There you go. Dogecoin. Oh, wow. Well. I mean, let's look at this. Whether you subscribe or not, the Johnson experience. Dogecoin is just, I mean, look, it's just very heavily manipulated as such. You know, at any moment's notice, Elon can say, you know, meme, and everyone would know it's, he's on about Dogecoin. All right? But she's actually forming what would appear to be a very, un, I mean, an untidy W formation. But nonetheless, it's still a formation. Rise up, retrace. Whoops. Hold on. Man, I hate that shit. Rise up. Okay. Retrace. Continuation to the upside. You know? Are we seeing that pattern play out? Well, look. It needs to go up higher. All right? But look, it's just trading sideways. You know, and stay away from these sort of scenarios, guys. Don't trade these scenarios where it's ranged out because you know what market makers are doing. They're inducing traders to draw lines like this, okay? They're waiting for them to set limit orders, pin to the high, pin to the low, and bring price back down. Keep the money in that area committed, all right? Keeps the range traders thinking, oh, is it going to go up again? Is it going to go? Why is it, guys, that you draw a range and you always see price pin to it, pull back, pin to it, pull back? And what do they say with the number three? If it hits a zone three times, you know, make your entry in the direction that it's hitting it. Well, if you went long on the third push of that, <laughs> you can imagine what happened to your stop loss <laughs> on an hour time frame as well. You know you're getting squashed. My days. So, yeah, there you go for that one. Let's have a look at Ada, man, because people are cussing about Ada. Right, where are we at? Where are we at? There we go. Well, what's wrong with Ada? What's happened to Ada? Nothing. If anything, she's formed a magnificent W. Man, look at that. Wow. Drop, rise, retrace. Here we go. We're waiting for the move. I'd say that even, that's probably forming the second leg. You know, my... Uh, wow, projection. Yeah, easy 125. That's what I'm looking for. 125, you know? Okay. Let's have a look. Where are we at? New shark in the big arm. XLM. Let's have a look at XLM. Okay. XLM, yeah, she's, I found that XLM tends to hold the same zone as Ada. But look, pin to the low, pin to the high, bang. Where are we going? 43. That's my projection right there for Ada. 43. Let me just bring something up. Okay, Bitcoin's moving back up into that zone again. Okay, Ethereum, she's doing, ah, right, guys, pay attention to Ethereum. We've got to look at Ethereum, man. Ethereum is doing numbers up here. Here we go. Here you go. Look, she's coming towards a projection zone, but she's also coming out as a W formation playing well. Here we go. Ah, oh, look at the green candles, man. That is nuts. So we're expecting now Ethereum to pull back slightly. All right. But when I look at her on the bigger time frame on the MT4, I can see she's breaking out of the M3. She's breaking out of the M3 pivot, which she could be violating the head and shoulders from previous. Okay, so let me just bring that for you right here. Here we go. Just remember, guys, I've got that surprise coming up in a bit. That surprise is going to take you by storm. I'm telling you now. There's nothing, it's, you know, it is a sincere surprise. It really is. Happened to me today. God. It's just unbelievable.
Not on your worst day. What's this? Expecting over 9,000 likes. See you there. It's not a face reveal, guys. Uh-uh. There's no face reveal right now. Man, I even got a voice, let alone a face, man. <laughs> you know? The surprise. I'm going to bring the surprise, okay? I'm Tokyo. Tokyo is going to see the surprise. All right? Tokyo will see the surprise. All right? So what I'm going to do right now, okay? Now that we've had a little bit of fun with the actual with the coins. I'm going to come back and do some more coins, but I'm also going to come back and do a little bit of context as well for those who need things, you know, need to understand patterns and, you know, generally understand what I'm trying to help with you guys do with this trading methodology. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions as well, you know, and I'm happy to answer some questions. Mike, if we can get some questions going, you know, if people want to ask a certain question in the chat, you know, I'm happy to answer those questions while we, you know, play into you know, the Tokyo Open, just before the Tokyo Open, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the surprise to you as well, all right? And then we're going to talk about the surprise, which is going to be pretty interesting. It's only going to be a quick thing. Don't worry about it. Trust me, you'll love it. You know, you guys will love it. And then we go into the Hong Kong and we see what madness happens there, you know? All right, and so, yeah, if you don't mind, I'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea, all right? We've been sat here for a little while. Actually, no, we started at 10, didn't we? Yeah, well, just 50 minutes. Got to get, you got to get moving, guys. So what I need you to do, all right? Um, what's this? What's he saying? Killer, just had the greatest swing trade of my life from a short peak to a low, killing it, market maker method. Let's go. That's what I want to see. I want to see winners, man. All right, I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea. The music you're going to hear right now is from my boys, um, Tony. Tony Carvajal It's his artist, you know, gives guys mad preps, man. He hooked me up with the songs. Check this out.
Somebody order a knuckle sandwich here. Maybe kill somebody. Yo, yo, we got, what's happening guys? What's good, what's good? I know we got the music playing, I just wanna shout out to my boy Billy, what's happening? My guy's producing these beats, you know? Tony bringing him into the room, there's a gang in Miami right now watching this stream. <laughs> got the blinders watching the stream, yeah? <laughs> yeah, everyone's feeling the music tonight. guys anywhere where we where are we in the world guys while we listen to these beats man where we at background all right and guys what's happening we made ourselves a cup of tea pittsburgh yo man that's good uni broke the uni break let's flip it over let's have a look let's have a look bitcoins ethereum is pulled back right there let's have a look at uni did she break when we say break what did she do ah oh, look at that move by uni man look at that beautiful move i said 35 I'm expecting 35. Where are we at? 35. That's where we are, guys. Before we hit 35, we're gonna see a retrace, but it depends if this move is gonna continue. It's like it doesn't look like it's gonna stop, bro. This W formation, I mean, look at it, man. Pull back, rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. It's still not pulled back yet. You know? Pin to the fifth, the five. Yo, there's strength behind this. 35 is the projection for me, man. That's where I'm looking at, you know. Pull the chart up right here. So what we got, Bitcoin still holding in the zone. Potential advanced entry forming in Bitcoin. We'll see what she's saying. Okay, then what we got here? What we got here? I know, Matthew, man, I know, listen, the guys who've subscribed to the channel, God bless you all, thank you so much, you've grown this account just at a stupid rate, you know, only three, four weeks ago, I had 500 subscribers, and that was the family right there, okay, you got questions for me, Mike, let's go, you know, and now we're sitting at 9,000 plus, 
you know if you guys are new to the stream guys can you help us break the 10k mark that'll be mad props for you you know i'll be at your disposal till half one in the morning two o'clock maybe who knows you know so let's go man yeah i'm gonna, gonna do those coins i want to go through a couple of questions because before the tokyo open i'm gonna drop the surprise again i'm gonna keep reminding you that and this ain't just to keep you in the stream guys you know you're gonna go you're gonna come back you can watch the video do you know what i mean i'm just saying because i've got some flavor for you you know it's a nice story you guys will love it okay i got a little fast trade on eos it's fine you know what you joking man you trade in eos that's nuts man you know okay then cool so saw a w on ada 15 quarter past three today afternoon that went over the 50 day came back can you say why it didn't play out i'll tell you why matt because it's sunday man there's no zones there's no money coming into the game you know they can allow it to fluctuate at any point you know it's retail money that's taking over at the weekends market makers know their zones they know where they want to keep price okay they know where they want to keep price guys and it's that's and that's what you're here to understand all right, because once you understand what they do with price at key zones, per, you've got the edge. This this system ain't about indicators, guys. You know, there's nothing on this chart that implies an indicator other than the RSI. All right, which is you know it's a good little tool. But like I said to you, I'm only going to base my entries on a number of other factors before I base it on the RSI. You know, I will look as I said it to you before. If there was a hundred point checklist of me ticking off the requirements of an entry, number 99 would be the RSI, straight up. There'll be so many other things that need to come into play. You need to factor in, you know, what's going on in the past, where are we at with price right now, what you're doing at 150 day EMA on one time frame against the other. You know, it's a dissection, man. You're going down, you're breaking it down, scalping it down, you know? Oh, Prodigal Sar, I remember you, man. I do remember you. You know? Retail doesn't know the zones MM pool prices into. They don't know the zones, but you can. Look, the zones themselves. You know what? I need to bring it back to you guys. I need to showcase this to you. Look, just so you can understand. Because TradingView, yeah, granted, TradingView is a nice thing to look at. But this is where, this is where you're going to understand the actual behavior of the market. You know, you're going to understand the behavior of the market maker right here. Okay, look at this. Okay. So you can see here that we have got this zone here. That's the market makers setting the zone up for the week. The reason why I don't trade on a Sunday and a Monday is because they're doing this. You know, it's like, would you walk into a restaurant and try and order food before they've even prepped or opened? No, you wouldn't, would you? You know, except this restaurant here allows you to dabble into the ingredients, all right, when you shouldn't really. Do you understand? Yeah? You wouldn't go into a restaurant and order food when it's partly halfway through opening because nothing will be ready. So why would you trade on a Sunday and a Monday? Why would you trade before anything is ready? Granted, you're going to come into the game on Monday and be excited. Yeah, let's get some trading going. Let's do this. Let's do that. But that's what the market makers want you to think. They want you to enter in on a Monday. Why? Because they know you're going to do give them the liquidity they need to fix this zone. This zone here, this um, point, psychological high, psychological low. Look what they're doing, man. They're holding it well. Pin to the low, pin to the low. Let's move away from the zone. They don't want price any lower. You know, and if anyone is talking about any crashes in cryptocurrency and all that BS, they're just trying to hype people to sell because they need to buy those contracts. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're going to see the hype of cryptocurrency come to its peak. And that's when the market makers are going to be there waiting for the dumb money and be like, yo, we had you when we played you, you know, thinking you were scared of cryptocurrency. So you pulled out all your money and you, you gave us, you know, you gave us that liquidity, you know? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. When they're trading shorts because they're scared, market makers are buying longs, man. They know what they're doing. There ain't no BS. Hootskins, man, what's good? What is good? Okay, then. 
993 of you in the room. All right, I've got the target, guys. I really want to hit 10K tonight. If we can hit 10K, that will be wonderful. All right, if we hit 10K, I'll, review the, I'll reveal the surprise sooner, man. If we can do it as soon as possible. How many of you in here have yet to subscribe to the channel? That will be great to know. What MT4 indicator gives you those green lines for the range? I don't have them. That needs to be put into the into the Discord. MT4 does work on Mac, but you need to run a series of things on them. And I mean, that's why I don't use Mac. That's why I don't use Mac. Let's look at how she plays in this zone here right now, guys. Let's see what she does in this zone right here. All right, let me... Okay, let me just pull this up. Oh, wow. Man, this computer is nuts. Here we go. I'm going to pull that up in a second. Pull that there. Happy days. I don't want this. All right. Let's pull this here. Okay, then. Cool. All right, then. So just before I continue, all right, how are people with the formations, you know? How are people with the formations? Here comes a Brittany. Arnold. <laughs> here comes a Brittany. She's right there. There you go, Bitcoin. She's going to do the Britney, guys. Bitcoin's going to do the Britney. And if anyone's going to ask what the Britney is, please tell our gang. Look, the B at the CME gap, right? The CME gap is just market makers. Ex um, they're just It's just an influx of orders that come in at a certain point in time. You know, they do it on crypto. They do it all over the place. They do it in Forex as well. I mean, we'll probably see a gap right now. I'm going to go into a little bit of Forex as well, Okay. Go into a little bit of Forex and we'll talk about how the gaps play out in there. We're expecting this blue zone. Why? Because in this blue zone was previous areas of longs filled at a high, at a lower, sorry, at a lower price point, right? So whenever you see this red candle up here, guys, all right, I'm telling you, it's, these are the clues, man. These are the clues. They buy when price is dropping. They want to open longs at that low point here. Remember, it's 52K. All right, so they want to buy again. Granted, they're buying more. Look, drop, drop, drop. Now they're inducing traders into believing that price is going to drop. I mean, how many traders took this golden cross, you know, the death cross right here? <laughs> how long did this death cross last? <laughs> this is what I love about these death crosses, right? They don't last long. Why? Because, you know, you're, you're not looking at the bigger picture. Price will behave. Okay, and form the pattern before the moving average will move. Remember, moving averages, guys, they, they are somewhat laggard. You know, they are delayed. You're going to see price move into a position before you're going to see the moving average move. All right? There's your testament right there. Crossed over there. But then when it held, okay, it started forming a W formation. Rise out the zone. Retrace gap up. And then what have you got? You got, look at the confluence here, man. This is what's scary. And this is why my projection to the upside should play out to... 52 at least. It's going to hit 52,851. But guys, this is not financial advice, right? I'm giving you my projection. All right? A projection has room to go wrong. Why? Because it's based on a series of calculations. All right? Variables. All right? A prediction's BS. A prediction's just going to effectively say, yo, it's going to go to 35,000. And you're just going to wait for it to happen. And because I said it's going to go 35,000, you know, or 10,000, you're just going to sit there like a wet lemon and be like, Okay, so now what do we do? Do we just wait for Ethereum to go to 35,000 or 10,000? You know, give me something to chew on. This is what a projection is. It allows you to, you know, think critically of price. And that's what people don't do. They don't think critically of price. They just go with what they, you know, based on what price is doing. Is it dropping? I'll go short. Is it rising? I'll go long. Far from the truth, guys. We're getting ripped off. We are getting ripped off. Market makers are car salesmen, man. That's what they are. They sell the dream. They sell the dream, man. You know? <laughs> you like that one? Why not a wet lime? I mean, there's always going to be that person that asks that question. Always the opposite. And you know what? I'm glad you're in this stream. You know? Yeah, have you ever had a... Have you ever tried a dry lemon, bruv? You know how sour that shit is? A wet lemon's different, man. Here we go. Right. You can see, right, the they're moving right now. They are moving price. Bitcoin's going to move nicely. 
Ethereum's going, oh, wow, here you go. Look, happy days. Ethereum's coming out the zone. So right now, guys, look, Ethereum has invalidated this zone right here. It's an invalidated zone. They are now showing strength against the psychological zone right here. All right. If they have favor to higher prices, they're going to send it higher. So my price projection is I'm looking for the 17.30 first before it pulls back. 17.30 before it pulls back, retrace back down to the you know continuation to the upside. M4 is the projection. Guys, look, Ethereum's got strength behind it. Something's changing. You know, Ethereum has got strength behind it, and I'm loving it. Now, when Ethereum moves, so does everyone else. Here we go. Yesterday's high. It's going to take yesterday's high out. We're try, trying to, that is. Bitcoin doing the same thing. Let's close this. Let me bring this up right here. Happy days. Where are we at? Blue zone. That's what I'm looking for. Happy days. Move up here. Right. Crow killed. Whoa. Last red candle. Is it going in the right direction? 99% people are sheep. Most likely. Yep, Arnold, okay. See, EIP 1559 is the strength. There you go. Some fundamentals right there, guys. That's probably why. Okay. Bacardi isn't going to look at that. Massive buy orders coming for a Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'll tell you what. Let us be the judge. Let's see if the buy orders are massive for Ethereum. Let's see. Let's see what's going on on this chart right here. Where are the orders? Get the display. Let's see it by transaction as well. Wow. Man, Europe is taking over. And this is buy only, guys. Can we get rid of the transactions? I've only put it down as buy only. Okay. Buy only. That's what's happening there. You know? Okay, then 15 first 15 minutes of price. There you go. Look at that. Uni's moving guys. Look at that projection for you 35 There you go. There's your first projection of the evening guys. Thank me later Uni's gonna move to 35 do not place any trades too late You know Too late Don't place any trades Look at that beautiful uni she'll hit the 35 she hits the 35 okay then happy days if she hits 35 i'm going to reveal the surprise projected exactly yeah we we deal with projections no predictions i ain't misleading you people man you need to click the tab next to fiat leak chat to see real times trades All right hold on this one here Jokum, so you need to click the tab next to Fiat Leak Chat. This one here, bro. Here we go. Those are the trades that are happening right now, guys. Those are the trades. Can you believe that? That is nuts, man. That is crazy ass stuff right there. Here we go. Oh, Uni's pulling back. Let me pull up Ethereum. Let's see what Ethereum's saying. Is Ethereum doing her numbers? Here we go. Look at that. Look at that, man. Green candle. Price projection. Is she going to hit it? There you go. 17. Oh, actually, tell a lie. What's going on here? There you go. She's coming out the foot. She's coming out the zone, Ethereum. She's coming out the W formation. I'm expecting the R1 to be taken. Retrace continuation to the upside. Price projection is the first projection I'm going for. She's going to hit my projection zone. Happy days. Happy days, guys. Guys, if you are new to this channel, we do this every single night between half nine and quarter to ten. You know, we start the live stream half nine, quarter to ten. We ride it out until the Tokyo session and the Hong Kong session. You know, we take down the Asian markets and we project price all day, every day. Okay. During the weekends as well, we did it this weekend for the members only. We talk Forex projections as well. I'm trying to arrange and find a broker that is good for anyone in the US to trade Forex. All right. There is a broker that you could use, which is called Trader's Way, but I've not heard great things about them. So I do not 
endorsed the idea of going to traders way people have had problems with them and i'm you know i'm very cautious with my recommendations man because you guys are going to come back to me and say yo man they cleared my account out of 16 racks and i'm like yeah you know do you use traders way to you know nah man so why are you telling me to use it you know so yeah, i'm going to find out which what broker is really going to help us get you guys from the states to trade forex as well because i know you guys are feeling forex and every saturday for a couple of hours for the members only i go through my forex strategy because all of what i'm talking to you about here has been taken from forex it's a forex strategy it's a forex approach and there's no reason why it can't be applied to cryptocurrency that's what the purpose of this channel is about you know here we go Yeah, man, I'm always going to look after the US, you know, political business to the side, man, I'm not interested, but you guys are people at the end of the day, you can be anywhere, you know, yeah, go easy on the caps, guys, easy on the caps, you think Tokyo and Kong will continue to rise, who knows, we'll see a retrace, you know, guys, don't come to this game with these questions as in like, you know, these fallible questions. You know, if we're in marketplace, yeah? This is a marketplace, right? It can change at any point. A lot of Ethereum's pulling back. Granted, we're gonna go back to Uniswap, all right? And she's probably pulling back. There you go. You know, we're expecting that. Here we go. Right, okay. Yeah, so the the Saturday streams, guys, for the members only, what I do is I just reveal my strategy to you guys. I have no hesitation doing that. It's not mine. Well, it's not, well, it's not mine, but my strategy is the way I express myself in this game we call trading. Why can't I share that with people? You know, express yourself. You know, let's bring the old school flavor into it. Man, if there was no copyrights on that i would be playing that all day you know but yeah where's the watermelons bro what watermelons man what are you talking about now gold is moving uh you know what let's have a look at some let's have a look at some um let's have a look at some forex man let's get some forex just before half past 11 all right so that you guys can see you guys will now see the beauty of this of this format these patterns that i use sorry all right, you'll see them play out perfectly. Forex, watch this. All right, so the most my, my favorite currency that I always trade, okay, is dollar yen. Okay, I always trade dollar yen. Oh my god, oh my days. I hope someone saw this. I hope someone saw this. Did anybody see the video of me projecting that price would hit the seven, the um, seventy-seven, seven fifty, and going for the seventy-eight hundred? Did anyone watch that stream? Okay, we've got a W formation forming on Kiwi Yen. All right, quite a tricky formation as well. Got the first rise retrace. Now you've got here's a true cross look at this look how beautiful 78 was my projection for kiwi yen she'll hit the 78 because it's the next nearest whole number which market makers love the whole numbers you know they love whole numbers man you know and i know you guys have heard me talk about this before all right but there is you know the pricing phenomena psychological pricing whatever they do when you go into a superstore wherever you know Whenever they want to sell something to you, all right, or give you a discount, let's start with the discount. Whenever they want to give you a discount on something, it's always round numbers, like $100 off, £100 off, £50 off, you know, £10 off, all right? But when it's something they want you to buy, it's always $24.99, you know, $12.99, $10.99. Why? Because they don't want to give you the illusion in your mind that it's a whole number. That means it's expensive. It's a, you know, it's a... You know, it's an authoritative amount, right? They don't want to give that impression. They want to make you think, ah, it's not 24, it's not 25 pounds, it's 24.99. In your mind, you haven't spent 25 pounds. 
See, the, the margin is so fractional, it's such a small amount, just one more penny would bring it to 25 pounds. But fundamentally, the impression it leaves in your mind, you didn't pay 25 quid, you know? So if, for example, if, if my, I remember I used to do it to my mother, my mother would say to me, how much did you pay for that? I'll say 24.99, she goes, so you paid 25 quid? I said, no, I paid 24.99. She goes, no, it's the same thing. I was like, no, it's 24.99. I didn't pay 25 pounds. Okay, it's a completely different number. Do you see the, the impact a penny has? And that's the same with trading in Forex and in cryptocurrency. All right? That's exactly what it is. Look at 78, Kiwi Yen will get hit. Okay? We're expecting a rise out of this zone, the one hour time frame. There you go, a rise out of the zone, retrace, continuation to the upside. I'm anticipating 78.250 for Kiwi Yen because look at this previous zone of shorts, of longs that they opened right there. Look at that pump, man. Look at that pump. Here we go. We ain't even talking cryptocurrency. Now you're going to see the beauty of this game right here. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Excuse me. Let's give you another pair. Dollar Yen. Oh, my days. Oh, my God. Dollar Yen. She ain't stopping, man. Oh, we could be forming the first part of the M. Happy days. Monday, false week move beginning. Yes, I'm waiting for the retrace to the 200 day. 106. No, 108 is going to get cleared if this pattern fails. Yeah, pin to the high, pull back, absorb the liquidity, bring it in. Make them believe they can take it out again. Happy days. All right, and cool. I'm game with that. I'm very good with that. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Let's give you another one. Um, Kiwi Yen, there you go. She, look, look how close she is to 78, guys. She'll hit that, no problem. Wow, Sterling Yen, look at that. 15500 is the next projection right there. W formation to the lows, rise up. It's been four days away from its previous peak formation down here. W formation was drawn down here, all right? Market makers sent price to that zone. And what do they do? Rise up. I hate this tool, man. My God, someone's got to help me out with this shit. Okay, so we've come up. Let's bring up the hourly so we can understand the cycle. So there's your W formation right there. All right. Here we go. Rise level one. Rise level two. Rise. One more rise to the upside. We're expecting another move to the upside okay when it hits the upside i'm anticipating 151 you know for k for for um pound yen 151 it would have broken this previous area to form the final cycle to the upside m formation so i'm gonna draw up here an m formation for records so that when we come back to it all right we can anticipate that she's gonna hit that zone she's gonna pull back down and she's going to form the rise, retrace, shit, retrace, continuation to the downside. That's how you project, guys. You know, you take a screenshot of that, put it in your folder, come back and see after a few days, done. Did it hit? If it didn't, come and study it. And yeah, and the more you do it, the more you're going to familiarize yourself with it. Ethereum, oh my God, she's forming the W formation. It's working perfectly. She's going to hit the target. 1698, let's bring up the previous chart over here. I can't take it anymore, guys. I can't take it with these projections. It's scaring the life out of me. You know, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Projection zone. Happy days projection zone. That only tells me one thing. Uniswap. What's Uniswap doing? Oh, my days. <laughs> 35 on site. What a projection. Look at that. That is crazy. I hope you guys are enjoying this shit, man. Here we go. Oh man. 51's broken, there you go. Bitcoin is about to complete the pattern. The pattern, the pattern, the pattern, man. Check link, let's see. I mean, what's link doing? Let's have a look. Link, USDT, okay, chain link. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, man, look at that W right there. That sounds so seductive as well. What on earth? One, two, three, rise. See, look, yes, granted, okay, the W formation has come out past the previous first leg. However, this big move right here 
and price reject, re, um, returning back up gives me conviction that the market makers just wanted to extend the zone a little bit more, absorbing more shorts to the downside, getting more liquidity for the longs, and then shifting out of the zone, taking out all those guys' stops, using their liquidity to move price higher. Look what's happened. 50-day moving average is turning upwards. 200-day moving average, turning upwards. 800-day turning upwards. I mean, if you look at the hour time frame, look what's going to be happening on there. I mean, look, there's your cross. Cross is right there. 200-day rise up. A, a, a golden cross right there has got more validation when it's coming out of a formation. You know, I mean, look what's going on right there. Chain link, my projection for chain link. Yep, I'm going for 29. That's what I'm saying. That's a projection, not financial advice, guys. Do not be loose. And just go and open up wild trades just because I'm saying a certain price in the future. You know, it could take two days for it to get to that zone, you know? So always be careful. Always protect yourselves, guys. Never listen to, you know, oh my days. There you go, guys. There's your projection right there. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard for you to not do anything about it, but the hour time frame, that is nuts. You know, we're going to hit the 35 mark. Once we hit the 35 mark, then happy days. Guys, let's get the likes to a thousand. Get the likes to a thousand, and I will reveal the surprise just before Tokyo. Let's get the likes to a thousand. Anyone, if you can help me get to 10,000 subscribers tonight, that'll be wonderful as well. You know, just bringing more value to you guys. You know, I'm trying to help you guys become proficient in this way of trading so you guys can go and do what you need to do with your lives. You know, make sure you join the Discord because the community in there is crazy. You know, it's wonderful. All right. Ethereum, USDT, where we at? Oh my days, oh my days, she hit it baby. Projection zone complete, thank you very much. A wonderful day at the office. A wonderful day at the office. Did anyone take that trade? <laughs> Did anyone take that trade? I want to leave my job and trade all the time. Don't do that Samuel, man, don't do that. Working in your job is a guaranteed trade, yeah? See your job as a guaranteed trade. You know, that income coming in all the time. You know, there are some trades that stress us out. There are some trades that make us excited and happy, okay? Look at you all took the trade. Are you serious? I said, don't trade at the weekends, guys. <laughs> well, there was no financial advice on my heart. Right? Projection zone complete. Guys, she's moving. So that only means one thing. That only means one thing, guys. What does it mean? Come on, she wants to hit that. We need to just pay attention to Ethereum right now. We need to pay attention to Ethereum and Bitcoin's holding. Look what happens here, guys. Look, Ethereum holds. Sorry, Ethereum moves and the altcoins move. Bitcoin holds. Look at Bitcoin. She ain't doing anything. All right? Ethereum's the one that's moving. Be careful, guys. Be careful, she could retrace back. I would realize a return. You know, but she could continue up. Pay yourselves. Always, always pay yourselves. It doesn't matter. Pay yourselves. If she pulls back, great. If she doesn't pull back and she continues up, so what? So what? You know, you can consider another entry. You know, no financial advice here, guys. You know, there's nothing of it. Nothing at all. The only advice that I do give you is I would advise you to increase the likes on the video. That's your payment. Come on. We're at 934 likes, guys. It's a, th a three-second move, man. Just come out of the video, go back into it. Like the stream, job done. Unless you don't have a YouTube account. The projection of what she would pull back to. I mean, look, the 50-day moving average on the 15-minute time frame is dog. You know, you can't really expect a projection from that zone. So if you, what you do is you come back down to the hourly, all right? You come back down to the hourly. Three moves to the high, three pushes to the high, market maker play. Look at that W formation play out. Here is a variation of a W right there. It's in front of your eyes. Take a screenshot of it. Look at it, okay? Pay attention to this pattern. Print it off. Play it everywhere, you know? Put it in places, guys, just to train your eyes. That's what I'm trying to get you guys to do. Train your eyes. You know, I'm trying my hardest to bring you the best content possible during these long streams, okay? I'm losing my voice for it, but I've got the love for this game, all right? I've got love for this game, and I want you guys to have the same love because once you have the same love for this game, you'll forget about the money, and you'll be all about the process. You know what I'm saying? 
you'll be all about the process. That's what it's all about. It's about the hunt, the hunt to take the trade. You know, find the trade, got the entry, got, I've got it. And I made the money, happy days. But I'm interested in taking the money. Do you understand? I'm interested in taking it from the market maker. You know, the trade is successful. I've got one on the market maker. Forget the money. I'm not interested. You know, because when you start thinking about the money, that's when the problems start. When you turn this into a science, psh, different game. Different game. Twenty-eight minutes till Tokyo. All right, and whilst Ethereum is pulling back, all right, at Flat Fleet trading double crazy. Let's have a look at Fiat Leak. Let's have a look at Fiat Leak. Yeah, man, we've got to bring a Fiat Leak right here. Come on, hold on. And you know what's great about Fiat Leak as well? The live feed on Ethereum right here, okay, is is consistent with Trading View, um, trading, um, yeah, Trading View. All right, just watch what happens now. Tony's still in the room. You got the guys there, Tony, yeah? Tia, my 11-year-old says, happy days. <laughs> happy days then, man. Happy days. One thousand one hundred and forty three of you in the room, guys. Mad that is. Access at how crazy Ocean is. Ocean will be pretty crazy, I'm guessing. Here we go. Let's see what Ocean's doing. That's crazy Ocean. Come on, man. Nah, that's not Ocean, really. See? Look what's happening. Ethereum moves, all right? And the other altcoins move, the bigger priced ones, the cheaper ones hold. Right? Let's look at ADA. Look. I'm going to introduce you to the concept of fractional disparity. You know, you can switch it up at any point. Watch this. There you go. Not doing anything. $1.12. Nothing. Okay, let's have a look at sushi a second. Sushi is quite expensive. There you go. High cost. High cost. Why? Because it's got the market cap for it to move. Market makers can make money on this. Yeah? That's what you need to pay attention to. Bitcoin staying in that boring zone. Why? Because they're moving Ethereum. They're moving the blockchain. All right? And Bitcoin's going to wait. Later on, you will see Bitcoin starting to make moves. Let Tokyo open, Hong Kong, and you'll see the game. You know? Yes, they are involved. No, the market makers are involved in it. They're involved in everything. They create the market. It's up to them. These are the list of coins Tina will look at later in the stream. GTR, okay. I've got my list. I've got the coins list. Happy days. Cool. Got the list. I'm cool with that. Okay, then. 1,014 likes, guys. Okay. All right, then. Wonderful. I'm going to look at those. Right. Okay. So, as stated to you and as promised, all right, are you guys calming down right now, yeah? Yeah, here we go. I'm going to get into this surprise. So, you guys are going to have to just sit tight and listen to this story, okay? What was he saying? Okay, then. Let me just put that on the list there. Rem. Okay, happy days. All right, and cool. So, um, right. I'm going to do, I'm doing this right now, okay, to celebrate the 10, you know, hitting 10,000 subscribers. All right. And, you know, it, it got dropped onto me today and I had a wonderful conversation with, you know, a beautiful individual man this guy is he's, he's taken me back completely from what he's done all right but did anyone come into last night's stream all right did anyone come into last night's stream i just need to know i need this question to be answered how many of you were in last night's stream yep cool 
Cool. Yo, PC Shed, are you in here? I need to know if PC Shed is in here. Yep, 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 yep. Wicked. Wicked, wicked. I want to know if my guy PC Shed is in here. Yep, got you. Okay, cool. All right, and cool, guys. So, in last night's stream, all right, you may have noticed that Mike pulled up. You know, Mike Dutch, who sorts out all my visuals and everything and the audio, all right? He pulled up a link from a website, which was a, a trainer's website where you can create your own trainers, okay? And I created a trader's reality, you know, kicks, trader's reality trainers, right? Now, I didn't want Mike to do that. He just pulled that out of the blue. And I was like, look, I don't want you buying this, these trainers because A, they're expensive and I didn't endorse it to anyone. I didn't want to push it onto anyone at all. All right. And I did that, what, nearly a year ago. Okay. And I just left it there. All right. Now, here is the trainer. I'm going to show you the trainer right here. All right. This is the trainer, the trader's reality trader, um, trainer right here. All right. I've said trainer like five times, man. Okay. So, you know, it's got snake skin, crocodile skin throughout. It's obviously print, not real. Okay. And You've got the emblem right there. You've got this. That's the trainer right there. And it's made in Italy. All right. Genuine leather, all in Italy. There's your box. All right. And that's the artwork of it. All right. So you get all this free shipping, handcrafted in Italy. Okay. So why am I showing you this, guys? All right. Check this out. So a couple of you guys. All right. One being PC Shed. He liked the idea of the trainer and he wanted to buy one. So he purchased one. And I've got another guy who purchased one as well. So I don't know if my guy wants me to let him let anybody know. All right. Now check this out. You can't buy this trainer. All right. Unless you successfully achieve the production goal of seven orders. So I can't, you know, you can't come to this website and buy the trainer off the whim. Okay. You can't because it hasn't achieved these seven orders, all right? And I get a phone call today from PC Shed, you know, just discussing, talking with my guy, all right? And he was telling me about how he liked the trainer. I was like, nah, man, don't buy it, dude, because they're only going to refund you because I need to sell seven of those trainers, all right, in order for you to receive that trainer. That's the criteria, all right? Now, I didn't want to push 244-pound trainer onto someone, man. Nah, you know, when I created in the first instance, I was like, I wanted to create this for myself. I wanted my own trainer, man. You know, I've got the merchandise store and 90% of the items that I put in there are for me to buy because I just don't like buying, you know, other waste clothing. You know, Nike, I'm not saying that Nike's bad. You know, I've got, I got my T, you know, I've got my Air Force Ones. I love my Air Force Ones. But you know, I endorse my own product, man. It's my own brand, you know. The amount of blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into this trader's reality, the real, you know, the realization of it. I'm going to support it. And that's why I say to you guys as well, you know, if you've got a product, you've got a brand, a style, stick with it, endorse it, no matter what the cost is. All right? I like the suspense, bro. <laughs> now, check this out. I'm speaking with PC Shed today. All right? And he said to me, look, I really want the trainer and I understand that you need to sell seven for me to get my trainer. So what does PC Shed do, guys? Hey, PC Shed goes and gives me, okay, the equivalent of seven orders, man. He pays for all the seven orders so that he could get the shoe. And the reason he's doing that is he said it's his way of saying thank you. But more importantly, it brings me to the 10,000 subscriber giveaway, okay? I've got three of these shoes to give away, all right? And the first one's going to be given away at the 10. And once we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to pull a random person, all right? I was going to be a little bit awkward and say, you know, only members only, all right? But I'm going to make it fair, all right? I'm going to make it fair for everyone. Once the 10,000 subscriber hits on the channel, we're going to have a stream and I'm going to introduce the person that's going to win. 
All right, I'm going to work it out with Mike how we're going to do it. All right, and we're going to give away the Traders Reality Kicks. All right. Now, this is only possible because of PC Shed. All right, PC Shed has sorted all of these seven orders out. He's allowed the production to be complete. That means now we don't have to worry about other, you know, we don't have to make any more productions, okay? Now, there are obviously other trainers that we've got on here as well, guys. You know, there's 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 all sorts of trainers. It's brilliant, okay? And I'll show you those accordingly, but this is the Traders Reality Kicks. And, you know, if it wasn't for PC Shed, my guy, you know, he's made that happen. So the 10,000 subscriber giveaway is going to get the Traders Reality Kick right here. Yeah, they'll get that set right there. They get a custom-made Traders Reality box. They get the shoes, fine Italian leather. It could deliver to free shipping to Europe and the US, all right? £244 handcrafted pair of kicks, guys. That's a trader's, tri that's a trader's shoe, man. <laughs> You know, that's a trader's shoe. So, 10,000 subscribers, it's going to happen. Guys, I need you to go reach out to PC Shed. Go to his channel. You need anything for streaming in terms of equipment, PC equipment, gaming equipment, you go to my guy, all right? He's paying forward, guys, completely. And I've got three of these shoes to give away. So, the first one is the 10,000 gold subscriber giveaway. That's the one right there. It's the first time I've realized it. Okay, come on, Brian. They're not nasty. It's, it's my shoe, bro. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do with Mike Dutch. We're gonna work out a way to pick um, a subscriber fair and square. All right, we're gonna pick a subscriber fair and square right there. All right. So, PC Shed. God bless you, man, and thank you so much. You know. So I'm going to be making the purchases, I'm going to be buying all the shoes, but I'm going to be doing it over a period of three weeks because I don't know everyone's sizes, all right? So I'm going to do the 10,000 subscriber. Once I get that person, I'm going to get their size, I'm going to order the shoe, and then I'm going to do another shoe giveaway, all right, until we've completed the whole set, all right? So PC Shed, God bless you and your family, bro. Thank you so much for doing this, man. Guys, go show some love to PC Shed. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Go do what you need to do. Do what needs to be done, guys, because everyone's helping everyone in this stream. All right? Mad respect to you, um, PC Shed. God bless you, man. Thank you so much. And let's get back to business. All right? Cool. Look at Sushi breaking out the zone. Uniswap. Hold on. Let me just make sure something here. <laughs> Look, she did it. Look, she nearly did it. She nearly took it out, but we did the surprise in any way. Yes, they're made to order dopes. The trainers are made to order. So whoever wins, I need to take um, I need to take a, an address and a shoe size, whether you're from the UK or from if you're from the States. And, you know, we play it off from there. And then we're going to, we've got, you know, two more after that. All right. So I've got two more pairs to give away after that as well. All right. Just search PC Shed. Um, PC Shed, can you put your link up, please? Can you put your link up to your channel if possible? Or Mike Dutch, can you bring it up for me, please? Can you bring up PC Shed's link to his channel, guys? Make sure you get there. This guy live streams PC builds. You know, that's crazy. Can you pre-order now? Yeah, I mean, if you want to pre-order one of... You, you can only pre-order this shoe, okay? You can pre-order now. All right. And if you, I mean, anything, if, because it's, because I have yet to buy the rest of the shoes, I can only buy them as and when I give them away. That's why I'm going to be giving these away as soon as possible. All right. So that I can get the purchases done. But if you guys want to complete that as soon as possible, be my guest guys, you know, but all thanks to PC Shed for doing that for the stream, for the community, man. We're giving back to the community guys. OK, and let me know as well. Let me know as well if you do decide to buy any because I can give you discount codes. All right. So you can knock at least 30 pounds off. All right. Straight up. I earn 30 pounds off every shoe that is sold. All right. Now, for to make it easier for you guys to have these shoes on your feet, I'd rather give you the discount of the 30 pounds. So I bring it down to 210. So let me know if you do want to do that. I'll give you the discount codes, no problem.
Ether just made your projection, did she? Let's have a look. Guys, make sure you're following up um, PC Shed. Happy days. There you go, guys. There's my projection. I said 17.30. 17.30 um, Ethereum. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. This is where it gets interesting. Look at the transition. Flip to this. What did we say about earlier on? 17.30. Look where she's at. Look where she's at. Right there. 1730 insight nearly hitting it guys i mean look i ain't gonna be perfect but i'm gonna be pretty fucking close you know i'm gonna be pretty close oh man yeah the shoes will be signed guy you took it out of me man you took it out of me man that's not fair i will i am literally guys i am gonna sign those shoes I am gonna sign those shoes most definitely. Man, you're making me feel famous, man. Who the fuck am I? You know, I'm nobody. You know, I'm just a trader here, guys. That's all I am. Just behind the scenes, I'm a trader. That's all it is, you know? Check out PC Shed. If you guys wanna have a look at the trainers, let me just get the link up for you now. If you wanna have a look at the trainers, there you go. This is the link. Go knock yourselves out and have a read. We need to read. It's handmade, handcrafted, man. That's why they're expensive, man. Okay, then. Bitcoin, what's she doing? Here we go. <laughs> look, guys. I Look, I've had this website for those trainers for about a year, you know. I ain't pushing no agenda onto anybody, all right? But... What PC Shed has done for the community is wild, man. He's, he's got, you know, he's paid for all of that, man. And God bless you, PC Shed. Thank you so much, you know. Guys, remember, you need anything for PCs, any streaming setups, the guy is your man. I've got my guy, Mike Dutch, who does visuals and audio, okay? He's the guy that does all of that for me, all right? And if it does sound dodgy from mine, it's not because it's Mike's fault. It's my fault because I've got a throat like a frog, you know? Good opportunity to short Ethereum. Who's, who's, what? Who's shorting Ethereum? Market makers are getting their money in good, bro. Why would you want to short Ethereum? Nah, look where Bitcoin's going. She's going to the exactly as projected zone. You know? Once she hits the blue zone, that's it. The free for all for orders comes in. Ethereum's holding. There you go, blue candle. Blue candle means um, just slightly above average volume. Okay. Excellence, wicked. Bro, I'm from Jamaica. You're definitely buying that shoe. Carlisle, wicked, man. Guys, you look, you don't need to buy that shoe, man. You know, you don't need to buy that shoe. You know, that was just, that's just mad props for PC Shed, man. Guy gives, guy donates 500 pounds a time in the stream, bruv. Do you know what I mean? The guy gets the strategy. He understands it. If there's a thing you ask, you know, if you want to know how it works, PC Shed is the protege to this system. I don't know PC Shed from the start of this channel. I didn't know the guy, okay? And it was only yesterday and today that we've started to communicate. That's five weeks, all right? The guy's been in the crypto game for more than eight years. You know, the guy's, he knows anything and everything you need to know about staking, all right? He's helping me with that, all right? The guy is very resourceful, guys, you know? PC Shed, there you go. Price projection, exactly as projected. No predictions, exactly as projected. What's going on? That's dangerous, guys. Do you understand that? Look, she hits it and pulls it back. They know that I'm looking at these areas. Bitcoin, look what she's doing. Guys, we're going to see some serious movements. Bitcoin's breaking out. The pattern, the pattern, the pattern. Look, the pattern is playing out. There is no financial advice in this channel, guys. I'm showing you how patterns play out. There's no entry points. There's nothing. I ain't giving you anything. You know? I mean, who the hell is shorting Ethereum? Like Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin. Let's have a look at Litecoin. Litecoin. I like Litecoin because Litecoin follows the, follows Ethereum. You know, she leads before Ethereum. Let's see how she looks on here. Ah, no, don't even start that shit with me. Right, guys, if you get this problem... 
okay when it pings up like this and it's saying file you know failure and what have you just right click on your chart go to indicator and delete news okay delete the news panel yeah you don't need it all right um this is my dash get rid of that happy days cool all right then so what's litecoin doing just going up on the white chart oh wow litecoin <coughs> excuse me i mean you can't get anything better. I mean, that must be bright as for you guys. But look. Oh, range daily. I'm looking for 200, guys. I said it in the stream only a couple of days ago. I want $200 per coin for Litecoin. Is she going to hit that? Probably. Most likely. There, 196. Yeah, she'll hit that zone. She will hit 200. Why? Because if we bring it back, what are we going to see? 200 is up here. Okay. Where's the price zone here? 200 is there. All right. Previous zones. Happy days. Look at that. One, two, three. Beautiful. On the bigger picture, yeah? Look. One. Rise out. Mad days. Here we go. Price rises out. Okay, first pullback. First pullback takes that zone. So rise out, retrace. Continuation to the upside. What am I anticipating? I'm anticipating Litecoin to break the zone. Level one rise. Day one rise. Day two rise. Okay, after she does day two, she's going to retrace. Day three rise. What are we saying? Do you understand the bigger time frame? Remember, on the 15 minute time frame, it's going to be shorter cycles. Look, look at this down here. Another W. Can you see the W down there? Yeah, you can see the W down there. Even worse, watch this. Watch this. You can see a W right there. Can you see the W? Can you see the W on there? Look, W, divergence at the lows. Look at that. The price comes down, divergence. RSI comes back into the volatility band, hits. The Crosses over the red market um, signal line, hits the market base, pulls back, crosses below the signal line, crosses back over. Divergence, W formation, divergence. That is literally put the house down. Dump all your monies on that position right there. You're riding it clean. My God, this gets crazy, man. And we've got Tokyo in five minutes. There's no predictions here, Zabirio, man. It's just pure projection. The reason why you get hyped on a projection because you're taking a confluence of variables and then pushing them onto the chart with conviction because it's repetition. Keep doing it over and over and over again. This is why I'm doing this. This is why I don't sell a course. This is why I'm here every single day and night because I want to master this game. And if I can master it, the only way I'm going to master it is by being able to teach someone it. PC Shed is the protege, okay? That means I know what I'm considering. I know what I'm doing is working. That brings me closer to mastery, and that's where my goal is, you know? That's what my goal is. Raise up the volume. Yes, I will raise up the volume. How's the volume now? Can you hear me? Is the volume good, guys? Is the volume good? Tell me if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Volume, how is it? First time watching you leveled up, G. Thank you very much, man. Thank you so much, bro. PC Shed, there you go, make a course. Make a course, PC Shed, why? Because what you know and understand will save people a lot of time. You know, it will save people a lot of time. Ethereum now could potentially break down. Pull back slightly. She'll come and recover this zone because we're expecting a retrace back to the zone. I am not giving you any financial advice, guys. Do not listen to what I'm saying, okay? Do not listen to it. I'm just explaining. I'm telling you the behavior of price in real time, okay? Let me just pull up a couple of other charts because I've got some guys that are wanting some coins, okay? Is there, oh, listen, guys, did you like the surprise? Did you expect that sort of surprise, you know? Did you expect that sort of surprise? Because I didn't expect it when I got told it, you know? Here we go. I 
Oh, you see how I messed up on my transition right there? What? What? There's a good surprise. And we got another surprise because we got effectively two more pairs of those shoes to give away. So we got the one and then we've got another two. And you know what the crazy part is? I don't even own one of those pairs of shoes, right? And PC Shed treated me to a pair. Does this guy get any better, man? This guy does not get any better. He can't. He's completely smacked the bar, right? He's completely just raised it to levels, unprecedented levels. PC Shed has smashed the range daily high completely. He's at the range weekly high, you know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> PC Shed for the win, you know? Right, let's have a look at these other coins. Let's bring them up. Here we go. Let's actually just, let's, let's for the time being, hold on. We've had some projections. Let's see what is happening across. Oh, earthquake, earthquake. Ethereum's made a move. Earthquake, earthquake. That's where she's at. This is where she's at. Um, so US is taking all of it. Actually, to be fair, Korea is actually starting to wake up now. Europe is waking up. UK is starting to step in right now. But Russia's starting to make a, its presence known. Yo, it's making its presence known. Interesting. You got your tea for Tokyo. Yeah, man. You missed the giveaway. Please, look, listen, you can rewind the giveaway. You can rewind the giveaway. If you want to see the giveaway, that's the giveaway right there. Traders Reality Shoes, courtesy of PC Shed. I didn't even think to do this, you know? Courtesy of PC Shed, guys. My guy got the Traders Reality Kicks. Right there, custom box, folds, be beautiful. Happy days, I'm looking forward to it, guys. But I need to get those shoes ordered, so I need to push the rest of them out, okay? So we're gonna do it. The platform with them beams, okay. So I'm guessing you're talking about the older platform. So if you guys want the MT4 platform, okay, which I'm going to go back and show you right now, please forgive me. I'm gonna transition again. If you want this platform and you're new to this channel, go into the description and the links are all there. It's called Download MT4. When you've downloaded MT4, make your way to the um, to pin to the top of the chat, sorry, and download Discord. Join the Discord, and the indicators are in there. All right, there are guys in there that will help you, and you know there are there's a video on my channel. That will show you how to install the indicators, all right? But more importantly, guys, we're bringing this channel to different levels as well. There's going to be days where I'm going to be uploading videos where people have asked me for certain videos, and I'm going to complete them for them, all right? So you guys have them as reference. Um, we're going to be talking about other things as well I'm, for the members, okay? We're, you know, And we're also trying to do this Patreon thing. You know, I've never done a Patreon thing before. I've been told to do an OnlyFans, and I was actually trying to work out you know, the OnlyFans, I was like, what, do these people want me to show my shit as an OnlyFans? I'm like, what? Is that what people do? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this Patreon, I'm just, you know, investigating the Patreon a little bit. Mike Dutch is sorting all of that out, okay? But um, yeah, and I mean, oh, fuck, what was I gonna say? I just lost my trailer of thought. I've lost my trailer of thought on what I was saying. Someone remind me, what was I saying? I've lost my trail of thought. Yeah. We're in the process of making an NFT, you know, bro. We are actually trying to make an NFT. I would sub to that only fans. <laughs> That's what I thought, Brian. People were saying to me to join OnlyFans. I was like, hold on a second, bro. Let me check out OnlyFans. And I was like, okay, what can I do on OnlyFans? And I'm seeing these chicks all over the place. And I'm like, hold on a sec, bro. Are these people really wanting me to like do this kind of thing? I mean, we're talking trading, bro. You know? Like, what do you want me to do? Stand with like, you know, the range daily high and the range weekly high drawn across my... Man, I ain't gonna even get into this, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days 
I'll post the link in the description if you want the link to those shoes, guys. I've seen people saying that they want them. So here you go. It's going to be... Um, I just put it just below the Discord link. Okay? It's right there for you. Alive Shoes, it's called. It's in the description. And there it is for you if you want those shoes. Courtesy of... But remember, guys, you guys can actually... There's an opportunity to win them, okay? Thank you very much, Galen, man. Thank you so much. All right, then. Tokyo's in. Let's go. Tokyo, where's she at? Raven coin. I've got a list of coins. Tokyo is open, guys. So we're going to see Bitcoin. Bitcoin potentially could break out of the M5 zone. We could see Bitcoin hit the 52 mark in the first instance. That's what I'm expecting Bitcoin to do. Hitting the 52 point. That's not financial advice, guys. Please. That is not financial advice. We want to keep this channel alive and kicking. All right. I'm just telling you my projections. No, you know, predictions, projections. It's project projections are the way. I'm gonna put three hundred dollars a week ago. I'm up to nine k. Hodge Finance. Hodge Finance. What's that? What's the ticker? Yeah, what is this? Huh? What is that? Nah, man. That's, that's not that's not for me. Um, Ravencoin, Ada, XLM, Atom. Let's have a look at Atom. Let's have a look at Atom for the fam. Where we are? Atom. Ooh. Yes, Atom is doing very well for holding the zone. So this is what I'm starting to understand, guys. They're starting to hold certain zones. You know, is Ethereum flying? Is she really flying? Yep, Ethereum's flying. Let's go. Let's flip it back to the other chart. Ethereum is flying. Ethereum is moving, guys. Let's go. Let's see what she's doing. Ethereum is moving. Here we go. Happy days. Where's she at? Right, 1730, my projection for that. It done the retrace, pullback, continuation. Where are we going? M4, 1769. We said it. We said it. Guys, we could actually hit the 1800 mark. There is enough strength in Ethereum to do so. But I believe that she'll hit the M4 zone and retrace back a little bit. Because she does need to normalize. She does need to normalize in this game right now. Okay, Bitcoin. Ready? Bitcoin coming out with volume. He's going to hit the second projection for the evening, guys. So the first projection, sorry, was Ethereum. We need to just quickly see Uniswap. Did Uniswap hit the projection zone? Let me see. Uniswap, did she hit it? Uniswap, Uniswap, come on. Uniswap missed it by a point. Literally missed it by a point. Five points, guys. I'm taking that as a projection hit, okay? And then we've got Bitcoin ready to hit. Tokyo is open. Five minutes into Tokyo, let's go. Let us go. Eddie, what's good, my man? What's good? Let me have a look at SNX, bro. Right, I don't want to keep changing the screen over for a sec, um, Eddie, but I'll change it back in a minute. But I'm projecting SNX to hit 23. That's my projection based on her showing support at the 800 EMA. The 50-day moving average is above the 200-day on the one hour, and it is flat. All right, so we've got to wait for the zone to move out. Yep, PC Shed is our sponsor, guys. You know, make sure you're subscribing to PC Shed. Remember, guys, the 10K giveaway, man. 10,000 subscribers. I need to get that hit. The moment that gets hit, we then start the game to give out the first, you know, the first of the three shoes that we're giving away. The first shoe of the giveaway, man. That's what we're doing. What are we at now in subscriber count? What's my say on CHR? I've heard about this, bro. 
All right, let me just bring out, let me just change the screen again, guys. Sorry if it's going to blow the eyes again, but people are asking for points, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, then, cool. So we have got Chromium C. Shit, what have we got here? What have we got here? Shoot, 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 shoot. What was that? Chromium CH, what was it? CH, what is it, man? There you are, CHR, cool. And guys, for the new members that are coming into the stream, that are supporting the stream, thank you so much. Every Saturday, we talk Forex. It's a two-hour stream. We talk Forex. We do talk a little bit of crypto as well, but really, it's all about Forex. We talk about the strategy that I use um, this week coming. So this Saturday coming, we're going to be talking about scalping strategies. You know, small time frame scalping strategies. That's what we're looking at. Okay. So actually, you know what? Let me just quickly check Fiat Leak. Let me check Fiat Leak. What's going on here? Look at the contracts coming in play. Coming in play. Look. Here we go. Look, that is crazy, man. Bitcoin's... Oh, Ethereum's getting eaten alive by the states. These are all buys. These are only buys, guys. These are only buys. Aishan, um, what was that? What was that question? C-H-R. The question is... I know Donald... Look, bro, it's not necessary. I know, man. I need to get it changed. If possible, Mike, can you get rid of that um, transition? Some people don't like it after a certain while. I understand that. You know, I understand it. Just too loud. Sorry, man. All right. I'm going to try and do it. CHR. CHR is forming a perfect W formation right here. Drop, rise, retrace, rise up. Done. Price projection for CHR. It's a low coin, bro. It's a low coin, but it's moving nicely. It's trading well. I'd be looking at, you know, the goal would be 10 cents. That would be the goal. But we're expecting it to drop down a continuation to the upside. So you've got to be careful. Okay. This, the visual sick, but the sound is sh okay. Visual sick, but the sound is shit. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right, guys, listen, this is what we're going to do, all right? I'm going to just quickly get another drink. I'm going to sort out that transition so it's not blasting in your ears, all right? And we then come back, okay? Give me two seconds, guys.
Yo, 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 what's going on? What is Ada doing? Ada is coming out the box. Let's see where she's going to hit our projections. M4 in sight. She could hit 18. That's my price projection for Ada. All right, let's have a look at what else is moving. If Ada's moving, that means everyone else is moving. All right, got that. Let me just get some more coins up. Okay, Uni swap. Let me just see if Uni actually hit the projection zone. Nah, she's pulling back. She's pulling back for some reason. Okay, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. Ada, yeah, I'm happy about Ada, man. I ain't, listen, Eric, listen, bro. Listen, I ain't gonna be no bit boy. You ain't see no bit buy link. You ain't see no Binance link. I ain't pushing no agenda like that onto you guys. If you go back into my streams, you'll notice that I talk about how expensive they are. You know? The only link that I've got on here, guys, for the IC markets is to download MT4 and it's free. All right? Sorry, Sam. Asked earlier, got no response. When Ethereum pumps like this, where's the new range drawn? Look, when Ethereum is pumped like this, right? Okay, let me just bring... The, the, the new range gets drawn, okay? I mean, what range are you talking about, actually? What range are you discussing? Let's just have a look at... Um, Ada. Why is Ada moving? Let's bring up Ada for you guys. Thank you very much, Zaberi. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. If anyone that subscribes to the channel, thank you so much. Nah, man. Don't even say that big dropper and your shoes being pushed here. These shoes are free of charge, bro. You know? One of the members brought the shoes. <laughs> Can you believe it? And he's brought three. Of, he's brought five of them for me to do a giveaway. Ten thousand subscribers. Once that's hit, I give one of the shoes away, and then we're gonna have two more pairs to give away. So we're gonna be doing. We're gonna keep it interesting for you guys. Trust me. Okay, Ada's moving. Yeah, not much being taken by Ada, but a bit of a weak move. Let me just see Ravencoin a second. Has she moved from there? No, no move there. Ethereum. The range with Ethereum, dude, Sam. Um, look, the range gets drawn from the first start of the week. Ethereum's moving out, man. Yeah, she's hit 14. So that's the first projection zone. First projection zone for Ethereum. Turn up the music. Happy days. How's that for you? Can you guys hear the music? And is my voice okay over it? can't hear very well can you hear me now Theo how you doing my friend yes man good yep yeah, good perfect happy days yeah perfect perfect some weird pattern I don't know where we are mr. nobody what are you talking about what are you talking about XRP weird pattern why are you looking at the weekly man it's crazy weekly chart it's too far man whoa That's a weird pattern, bro. That's not even a pattern. That's just, wow. That's crazy. Let's come away from that, man. Let's get onto something that we can trade. This is day traders, man. This is day traders right here. We're only interested in making money now and in the next couple of hours or so. Anybody that's new to this stream, we have rules when it comes to trading. And those rules are pretty simple. You know, those rules are, if you place a trade and you don't realize, if you follow this system, you place a trade, Bitcoin's broken out of the peak. Bitcoin is breaking out of the pattern, guys. Bitcoin breaking out of the pattern. Happy days. Let me just pull that chart there because that's a cleaner chart. Ah, oh, shit. Bitcoin, those are the target points for Bitcoin. Let me just sort this out. Why has that gone all the way down there? What is that? Now let's just get rid of that. Happy days. Move out there. Let me just draw another zone out. So we've got the rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. Okay, happy days right there. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, Bitcoin's breaking out. Yeah, we have this rule, the two hour rule. Okay, the two hour rule is simple. You need to close your trade, all right? If you haven't realized a return within two hours of entry. Yep. Always 
you close it within two hours of entry. Why? Because you don't want to have your money exposed continuously. V chain is performing exactly like Bitcoin. Look at the pattern. Rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. Price projection for V chain. I'm looking at, yeah, I'm looking at 0 0.065. That's my price projection. Let's see if it hits. 0 0.065, happy days projection zone. Okay, happy days projection. Boom, here we go. Man move. Done, okay, next coin. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry for that. My throat is hurting me, man. I thought I recovered. I clearly haven't. Yeah, look, Ada looks like she, I'm sorry. She does look like she wants to break out. Okay, she does look like she wants to break out XLM, but they're holding the zone. They are effectively moving. They're moving the Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's what they're doing. Let me see. There you go. Let's bring the chart back up. Bitcoin and Ethereum are being moved right now. There you go. How nice is that for you guys? Here you go. Bitcoin's broken out. Bitcoin's broken out on the exchange. Third projection. The projection is going to come into play. Come on, 52 zone. The reason why it's going to hit this zone because it previously obtained orders in this area to go long. Look, market makers, they built their longs at lower prices. Now they want to realize a return. That only means one thing. They're going to send price higher. My projection for Bitcoin is going to hit the M4, which is 52,851. Okay, hit me up in the Discord when it happens. Screenshot it because I'll probably be asleep when that happens, guys. You guys get the luxury of staying up. Or well, those of you in America as such. Okay. Here we go, right there. I can actually bring up Ripple for you guys on this platform. I can bring up Ripple for you. Where's she at? Crypto. XRP. Boom. There she is. Get rid of news, get rid of dash. Okay, let's access panel. Get rid of these lines by going down here. Where are we at? Levels off, done, happy days. Boom, okay. Ripple, where's she at? Look at that, spike price back up. Look at that, how sad is that? Come outside the zone, pulled it straight back. How bad is that? That's what I mean, man. Ripple's terrible like that. Here we go. Look at Ethereum ready to move. M4, 1769. We called it, guys. We called the 1769. I said it was going to happen. Bitcoin's going to hit that zone as well. She's actually hit that zone. That projection is complete. She's hit that zone. Once she breaks this zone, guys, she's going to move. She's going to move. Bitcoin is going to move, man. Yo, Erica, what's good, man? Hmm, Martingale, yeah, um, great on roulette, um, great in blackjack, in trading, nah, don't do it, you're either in or you're out, you know, don't double it up afterwards because you can be doing, you can be going in tilt and you'll be forcing trades, you know, you can be forcing trades at least with, you know, like blackjack, roulette, I mean, it's a gambler's game, it's a mugs game that is. The Martingale strategy is, it's decent, but you know, it has to be done over a period of a large sample size, you know? I'll have a look at the altcoins in a second. No worries, Zuberi, man. Zuberi, nice to have you here, bro. Welcome to the channel, man. Mad love for you, bro, thank you. Right now, Bitcoin's done it, guys. Bitcoin has successfully taken the zone. Watch what happens to Bitcoin on the hourly right here. Watch what happens. She's going to break this zone. She's not going to take any prisoners in this zone. You watch. Watch this. Shit. Come on. There you go. Bitcoin. Look what happens in this zone right here. You watch. 
No prisoners. Bitcoin is going to smash through this zone. Projection complete. The pattern is complete. Look, coming out of the pattern. Happy days, guys. What are the market makers doing? They're buying in. They're making the guys go in, going in, going in. They're gonna, trying to build shorts at higher prices so they can bring it back down continuation to the upside. That's how they raise price. Yes, Mr. Nobody, I, I know, man. I'm just a bit crazy like that with it. Bitcoin's runs versus just buying in and sitting back. Michael, if you come to the members channel, the members, every Saturday I do these live streams just for members only. And we talk about this week, I'm talking about a scalping strategy for you guys. All right. And as the weeks progress, I'm going to be talking about a scalping strategy on each time frame, up from the one minute time frame, five minute, and then the 15 minute in confluence of the one minute, understanding how you can use the higher time frames. You know, we're going to be talking about how we use the TDI at certain points. We're going to look at various strategies that I use when I'm trading, you know, types of patterns that I look for that I've managed to exploit, you know, that are you know, their discretionary patterns away from the W formation because I've got a plethora of, I've got an artillery of trade entries, guys, that I can apply, you know? So I'm always on the lookout for one. I'm always looking for the kill shot, you know? They're shifting the zone, Kenobi. Yes, they're shifting out of the zone. A fast move, false move usually happens within, in a 15 minute time frame. you're probably gonna see this here. Fast move, false move, look at that there. Fast move, false move, comes up, three vector candles, rises up, spike to the high, pull back, recovers the previous zone, tests the, the psychological zone right here and pulls away from it. If you go to last night's stream, guys, I talk about it, you know, I talk about that all the time, these, these key zones, watch last night's stream and I talk about understanding when price pulls back to that zone, okay? Yes, there are. There, there is replays of that video, okay? But moving forward, there will only be replays for the members of that, of, um, for the Forex bit, okay? Reason I'm doing it like that, guys, is because some people just want Forex, so I just want to cater for them. You become a member, I think it's next to the um, subscribe button. It will say join. If you can't see it there, just go into the description and there's a link there for you to to follow through with and you'll be able to have it. What's going on, Milk Michael? What's happening? Ren is up 50%. Justin, let me just have a look at that for you, mate. Ren, let's have a look at Ren. Ren right there. Wow, Ren's doing awesome, dude. Ren is doing awesome. Let me just flip that over for you guys. Ren is doing crazy right now. Ren is doing nice. Look at that. You managed to take that PC shed you traded, Ren, yeah? <laughs> Why wouldn't you, man? I can see exactly where you traded as well. I can imagine it. You see how it works, guys. Look where price is in relation to the pattern. Okay, look, W formation, it's holding above the 800 EMA, okay? It's got the 50 day coming up, 200 day coming up. Look what's happening here with Ren. There's a cross happening. This is the one hour, guys. Anytime you see a cross happen on the one hour time frame, you know you're in for good runs. Look at that. 50 day is crossing over the 200 days, edging upwards, okay? When it crosses, expect it, granted, expect a retrace back because it needs to normalize. The move from that retrace is gonna continue to the upside. That's exactly how it works, guys. Exactly how it works. ENJ. Nice, nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ENJ forming an all-time high. Price projection, if ENJ hits an all-time high, guys, we're looking effectively at 18. Why? Because it's in line with the formation. Look, this is the new bit of the formation, rise, retrace. I mean, yeah, she should hit the 18. If she doesn't hit the, she'll retrace before she hits the 18, put it like that. Mm. 
Naeem, um, just go into the link, into the description, you'll be able to download a, um, go to IC Markets, the link's in the description, that's a great broker, that's who I use anyway. But you know, have a look around as well, make sure you have a look around. Litecoin, doing exactly what she needs to do, happy days projection zone, I said 200, yeah? That's my zone, right there. 200. Boom. That's where we at. Did I see Z Zil? Yeah, let's have a look at Zil. Mm, not really doing much, Zil. Actually, let me have a look at something else. Ah, oh, is it not there? GRT. Let's have a look at GRT, actually. Graph. I remember when Graph was listed on Coinbase. Here we go. Drop, rise, drop, rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. Pattern forming on GRT. Dot L U X A U dot. So have a look at dot. Dot, look at dot guys beautiful w formation coming out of the zone one two three rise retrace continuation to the upside price projection point four dot God's sake. i'm expecting her well she's broken out right now okay she's broken out the zone right there okay that's the pattern okay i'm expecting the average daily range 36 to come into play 36 to come into play with a retrace continuation to the upside again for the next zone, which will be 38. <coughs> Excuse me. That. Mm. Similar. You, you've seen the pattern, guys, here. You've seen how often the coins that we're looking at are all forming the same pattern. Rise out. Retrace. Pins the 50-day. Coming back up. Okay, what are we expecting? Break out the zone. Happy days. Um, CHZ, that's what I was looking for. CHZ. <clears throat> VHZ, bro, what are you doing? Ooh, nice. CHZ at the highest, man. Looks like a big M formation. Look at that big M pattern right there. So you come across this sort of situation, guys. Rise, retrace, continuation up. But is it an M pattern? The only way we're going to know if it's a successful M pattern, right, is if from this point here, rise, retrace, touching the 50-day moving average, breaks out. We're going to know if the M is valid if price fails to break this zone here. All right? We will only know that. If the market makers want to see price higher, then they will break that zone. Once they do, they retrace continuation to the upside. 16 is my 16 is my projection. Okay, but guys, that's not financial advice. Don't be taking no trades and it hap it doesn't happen and you come in the chat the next day and say, you know, Tino, you said it was going to go to 16. Who am I? You know, I ain't going to influence your trading, guys. I'm showing you a pattern and how it plays out. Be responsible. Take responsibility in your trading. Guys, we've got half an hour until Hong Kong. Hong Kong. There you go, guys. Back again. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Drop. Continuation to the upside. Guys, if you need to take screenshots of these, take them now. All right? Take the screenshots now. Price projection is going to be in the purple line. Wait there. That's the price projection. Rewind it and look at it again. UNFI, I will do, man. Mm. Mm. Showing potentially a new W. I mean, it's failed there. 
It actually hasn't even failed, to be fair, because it actually did. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What has it done here now? <clears throat> Guys, courtesy of Plasma Pug. He, just, he created these indicators. Guy's a machine. Hold on. Trading view, stream, Raven, Litecoin, gold, Crow. Let me just pull up Crow. Crow will be a very lightly traded thing then. actually isn't performing perfectly sixteen trend v trend one hour one day rise two days rise Okay, waiting for another final rise to the upside, retrace, continuation, end pattern. I don't know if there is ENJ. I'm looking for it right now. Uni, XLM. Man, those hats are fly. I like those hats. Not much happening with Ethereum right there. I mean, you guys are coming out with some wild coins here, man. But I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna make myself a drink before Hong Kong. No worries, I'll check ENJ right there. ENJ. Yep, nice formation. Wow. See, look here, we got it again. Drop, rise, drop. It's below. Okay. Now, I'm not comfortable with this sort of pattern here. All right. It's only moving like this because the alts are moving. Okay, but look. You can see that that was where the low was and then it went even lower and there was not really much of a conviction to the upside. It just looked like it trailed slowly upwards there. I don't really want to see that. When I see it break below the first leg, mm, I'm not too comfortable with that pattern, you know? So then what I do then is I look down to the 15 minute time frame and I say to myself, all right, what's she doing there? All right, so there's the W formation right there. Here's the smaller one. Can you see it? There you go. So we base our entries off of that. Rise up, retrace, continuation, take the next pullback, okay? Bring the price back down. So the next pullback from there is, from there rise, retrace. Okay, we've got a pathway there. Now we've formed another W. One, two, three, four, Here's your W waiting for price to pull back. Okay, price projection, 155 maybe, 160. Remember guys, I'm only giving you close price projections because I'm, we're day traders, you know? We are day traders. Man, they're just checking out all these charts, man. Right, listen, I need to take a quick break. I need to go get some drink in my throat, man. You're right, along with Ethereum right now. Let me just bring the chart up for Ethereum two seconds. Yeah, if you're long in Ethereum, Bitcoin are holding that zone nicely. Okay, let's see what happens. Let me just bring that chart. Okay, go go for a quick drink, guys. Just clear my throat.
No, I'm here guys, don't worry. I'm here. I'm here. I just went to go and get myself a drink and I didn't even go and get it. I just stood up, walked around the kitchen and came back to the chair. I'm, I'm losing my brain, man. 20 minutes until Hong Kong. 20 minutes till the Hong. To the Hong, you know. <laughs> okay, RSI. All right, then. just want to pay attention to Ethereum and... I will look at the other coins in a short moment. I want to pay attention to Bitcoin and Ethereum, guys, because when they move, that's when the rest of the coins move. Okay, and I'll do my projections for you on those coins as well. I just want to pay attention and see the zones that Ethereum's playing. Notice how price now is just trailing up slowly. I don't trust it. All right, I don't trust it. Fetch Bitcoin. I like Fetch. Okay then. Shit, shit, coin, shit, Ethereum. You don't sound too happy, bro. Oh, I've got a big, I want my massive fridge right next to me. I didn't even bother going in. T minus nineteen to the Kong, to the Hong. <laughs> Reason I don't trust it is because look, they've made the big move to the upside. Okay, they've built the orders there. Now they're allowing the retail traders to try and take the trend to the upside. I'm expecting that once Hong Kong comes in, they're going to try and smack price back down retrace continuation to the upside remember they're just luring in the shorts at high sorry they're luring in the longs at higher prices people are coming in from all over the world trying to work out you know why is ethereum rising bitcoin rising are we going to you know 60k you know tonight you know so we're just gonna wait and see i mean okay let me just bring up these coins in a second guys i'll bring up the coins in a second just need to pay attention to ethereum and understand what she's doing i mean the m4 is in play the m3 has been confirmed Okay, the M3 actually sits at the psychological high, which then tells me that Ethereum is effectively going to be hitting the M5 zone. That's my price projection point. That's my weekly price projection point right there. Okay, that is the happy days. Let me increase that. The weekly price projection zone. What? What's going on here? Yep, that's the zone I'm looking for. Right? What's going on here? What's going on? Wait a second. Let me sort out the scale again. All right, and yeah. So that's the near term zone that I'm looking for. There she is. Bitcoin looks like she's hurting, working this zone, but I think they're, they're waiting for Hong Kong. They're waiting for the Hong Kong. Rainbow, how you doing? How you doing, Rainbow? Who else we got in here? Yeah, a lot of moon boys, man. The guys in this group, guys, the people in this live, we're moon boy killers, man. <laughs> All right, let me just go and get some. Um... Let me just go and get you guys the other coins. Let's flip the screen and see what you've got. Okay, then. Here we go. Tino, check out Litecoin and your projection. What was my Litecoin projection? Don't even tell me that it's hit. Tell me my Litecoin projection, 200. Oh my days, guys, I said it, I've been saying it all week. Go back through the previous streams, I've been saying a Litecoin is gonna be going to 200, and look how close she is, man. I'm so proud of Litecoin. Well done, Litecoin, she's moving. Happy days. 
There's 200 right there. Happy days, man. That's the happy days projection zone. Welcome to happy days trading. <laughs> Nick. Ah, getting there. Got open trade on Litecoin. You took it, PC. Guy's a beast. Careful on the slight pullback. We've got a new 50-minute candle coming into play. We've got Hong Kong coming into play as well. Let me just go through a couple of candles before we do a um, before we go through some forex. Two seconds, my man. <laughs> Schmo, where you been, bro, man? Where have you been, Mana? Let's have a look at Mana. Decentraland, man. I love that game. Ooh, nice little bounce out. Retrace, continuation to the upside to regulate. Yeah, what have we got here? Drop. Nice M formation down here. I like it. Coming out of the zone. This is the sort of thing you want to see when you're coming out of M4, W formations, guys. Breakout. Pull back slightly. Regulate. Continuation to the upside. That's what you want to see. With Litecoin, would you say the ADR or 200 is going to be more resistance? I wouldn't say that the... Look, autos, um, LTC. Granted, you know, you're going to see a retrace, bro, because look how far she's pulled away from price right now. Look, this is a 15-minute time frame. You can imagine where she's at on the hourly. I'm going to see a retrace. Standard. But the 200 is the next sweet spot that I'm expecting. It's the happy days projection, you know? Compound. Hmm. God, man, I remember when compound was so cheap. Compound has effectively come out. Oh, there you go. Nice little W for, well, an invert. Can you see that, guys? An inverted head and shoulders on the TDI. Can you see that? Yeah, let me just bring it for you there. Look, one, two. Yes, you got, oh, God, move, man, move. Okay, you've effectively got, where is it? Have I got a brush here? Is there such a thing as a brush? marker mm, anyway but yeah you can see an inverted head and shoulders left shoulder head right shoulder outside the volatility band back inside outside the volatility band back inside okay ZRX <sighs> Yeah, she's had some traction today, hasn't she? Something about Microsoft. Yeah, nice little move. Nice little move to the outside. Dot. Dot has done really well this evening, to be fair. I know Dot's done really well. Yeah, she's pulling back now. We're expecting them all to be pulling back just before Hong Kong. Remember that. They all pull back before Hong Kong. You'll see it. I've already pulled up Ocean. I'm not going to pull up the same ones. Ocean, not really doing much. Not doing much, Ocean isn't. It's just stuck in a zone. It's not even... I mean, there could be a W formation only if it holds this zone, but it's unlikely because they they may want to see price hit the 200 day before they consider a formation. Because remember, look, she's been going for a long time. She needs to realize a return. Look at how many shorts they built in that zone right there. And they spiked the high, pulled it back. And now they're just working the lows. Did it again there. Spiked the high, pulled back. Now she's below the 250-day moving average on the 15-minute, which is the 13-day hourly. And then if it comes down to the 200-day on the 15-minute, that's the one-hour 50-day. All right? EOS. Let's see what EOS is doing. Mm. Nice W there. Can you see that W? That's a lovely W. Rise, retrace at the 200-day moving average. So you can have a W anywhere you want. 
But look where she's performing this formation at the 200 day, pin to the low, pin to the low, move away out the zone. You can't get any better than that, man. You can't get any better than that. Luna. Yeah, look at that, man. That's perfect for guys. I hope you're taking pictures of these or at least going back and taking a picture and looking at them, pinning them on your walls and then reflecting on them. Yeah, Luna's performing great right there, man. There we go. Archie, how you doing, bro? 15 minutes, guys. No worries. Let's have a look at Fiat Leak. Earthquake, that means what? I'm going to wait for Ethereum to come into play. Wait there. All right, guys, question. Guys, question. All right. What is, I need you guys to give me one word that will summarize, okay, your understanding of this strategy. I need to see it. One word that summarizes your strategy, your understanding of this strategy. How am I seeing two words, bro? <laughs> One word, bro. <laughs> You've given me a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, this is funny. Yep, don't play the odds, play the men. This is what this is, guys. You're playing men. You're playing the psychology of retail traders. Yeah, guys, remember, if you're new to the stream, how many people have just come into the stream as well? Whoa, you guys are going crazy with the comments. How many people have just come into the stream just to let you know? Okay, fuck this shit. <laughs> just to let you know, we've got a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. We're giving away a pair of custom-made Traders Reality shoes courtesy of PC Shed. You know? Oh. No, it was, what did I say it was? Wasn't it 15K? I get the, no, I get the, the tattoo at 15K. You've just turned up into the screen, to the stream, screen. Nice one watching, thank you very much. No sex in the night anymore. <laughs> Sound like I've got a man bun. Come on, bruv, man. No disrespect to anyone with a man bun, bro. But, nah, man, that's not me, bro. You know? No, no man bun right here, bro. Oh, yeah, that's it. No, yeah. The tattoo was if we accumulated 500k profit for the Discord and we're somewhere like 360k right now three hundred and sixty thousand dollars has been earned collectively in the discord okay so once we hit 500k we're just gonna collect all the information the people making wins you know and we see i've got turkish barber bro i actually don't have a turkish barber i've got one guy he's sharp man very sharp barber you know but yeah we're gonna do a tattoo for five hundred thousand dollars collectively okay if you win the shoes and you're from Mexico, you give me the address and you we send them to Mexico, my friend. Send them to Mexico. You know, wherever you guys are. Brian, man, that's so funny you say that, dude, because I literally eat the head. <laughs> There's this old dish in Cyprus where you actually have, where you boil the, the lamb's head and you just pretty much eat the lamb's head and leave the bones quite sad but that's how they do it in the village man rude boy trader bro oh my days ether is not crashing <laughs> C 
<laughs> it's, it's not crushing, sorry. Crashing, crushing. Do you see that little spike back? Do you see what they're doing, guys? Oh, look, 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 listen. Jokes aside, listen. Jokes aside. Notice what price is doing prior to the open of Hong Kong. Look what they're doing with the zones. You know, they're moving the spreads. They're just, they're just taking out all the moon boys, you know? You made 5K profit today. Well done. Well done. Declare it in the Discord, bro. You had Yeros, what? I had Yeros the other day from delivery, Peng Peng. <laughs> right here, come on, man. I ain't got none of that madness, man. I'm old school, bro. You know, you, you let your wife pierce her ear, you, you, your daughter pierce her ear. No discredit to anyone that wears earrings, man. Like, you know, you know I'm old school, bro. You know, I, I, don't, I don't rock like that. I don't pierce my ears. Someone tried to pierce my ears while I was asleep and the guy got a new face. You know? So, yeah. Yeah, we do take the heads. That's crazy. Blue moon. What's this? If you wear earrings, your girl F's you. <laughs> I'm I'm 35, man. I'm 36 this year. If you were to see me, you wouldn't think that. You'd think I was a virgin. <laughs> Let's have a look at. Let's have a look at a bit of currency, um, foreign exchange. We've been smashing out the cryptocurrency tonight. Let's have a look at GBP USD. What's she doing? Nice. Yeah, you seeing it, yeah? Hmm. W formation on the GBP USD. Let's see if it holds. Right? Let's see if this W formation holds. The only reason I say that is because GBP USD has been dropping too much. And she's coming at the 800 day EMA. Price projection for GPP USD would be the 39, 1.393. That's my price projection point right there. Let's see how she plays out. Yo, man, that was, it was, you know, dopes. They would say that that's like the vitamin. That was the vitamin meal. Ada's moving, yeah? Let's have a look at Ada. Everyone getting excited about Ava. Ada, sorry, not Ava. Where are we going? The only reason she's moving is because we're coming into the Hong Kong set. Oh, what? What did I say? 18? Didn't I say 18? 1.8? 1.18? Didn't we say the projection for the, um, Ada was 18? I think so. I actually think so. Daddy, I'm home. What is it with you guys coming with these descriptions, man? Clogs, curly moustache and a frilly shirt. <laughs> Greek Cypriot, man. Greek Cypriot. Italian Cypriot, Brit yeah, British. You hear, you know, Tina the projector. There she goes. There's your big. Let's look at. Hey, let's pay attention to Ada when Hong Kong kicks in. Hong Kong's gonna kick in in a second, right? No. It's no. It's, apparently, my ancestry is. Um, I believe my ancestry, like I'm talking back in the chain, was Jewish, I believe. That's what I was told. Where did I train? Oh, God. I used to train in this. I used to go all over the place for training, to be fair, because I would follow my sensei everywhere he went. 
you know, because I wanted to achieve black belt as soon as I could. So I went to pretty much every single class he had in the week. So I'd be going all over UK and hit the first dan. And then we're working on the second dan and the third dan. And then happy days. Mainland media, what's up? If I'm involved, 200 extra good ones. So are you trading on IC markets, Mainland? Thank you very much for that. But are you trading on IC markets? Let me know if you are. Just give me a yes. Wow, look at that. Give me a yes, yes. Double yes, yes. If you're trading on IC markets, I'm guessing. Gleftigo, man, it's the best football team. Man U, bro, you mad. Are you mad? You know? Nah, you're not know, my favourite football team. You know, I, it's for me, I don't really like... I'm just not following the team. You know, I just like the way Ronaldo and Messi play. You know? Hong Kong, baby, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's see what they're doing. Hong Kong coming into play. Where's she at? Here we go, guys. I've got to bring up Ethereum on the other charts. I've got to bring her up. Look what she's doing. They're going to start moving now. Here we go. Here we go. She's going to start moving. Bitcoin's going to start moving. Ethereum's going to start moving. We'll leave the altcoins. Leave the altcoins shortly. So where is he at? Um, I need to see. Um... No, but I'm going to try and find you guys a broker that will. Okay, once that happens, I'll, I'll get it over to you guys. Yes, I'll do GRT. I just want to catch. I just want to catch the moment of you, Hong Kong opening. <laughs> Tina's bloody magic. He wears a tip for hat, and when he sees confirmation, he says, "I fancy that." <laughs> He'll trade it to the upside or trade it to the down. Tina's bloody magic if you don't hit the like. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big compliment, man. That's a big compliment. Aristotle and that's just for the game. You know? Chill beats, please. Happy days. Let's bring the chill beats back up a little bit. Yeah, mainland media, bro. You still there? Okay. Um... If you, I'll tell you what, Mainland Media, hit me up on Discord, all right? Message me on Discord and tell me who you are and I'll have a conversation with you about it, bro, just to help you understand. But in order for you to see, you know, um, understand the risk management, the, the mindset behind it, because you just saying right there, it's exhilarating, yeah? If you go into the, into the live stream, sorry, into the, oh God. Yo, Mike, can you attach the video of how to trade a small forex account all right if you go into that get that video up for me and put it in the shit man put it in the chat all right the video link to that I want mainland media to watch it that video will explain to you how you know I grew a small account in forex to 700% return it was only 125 pounds to a thousand pounds and I did that in 106 trades over five days, all right? And that was with 500 to one leverage. So you can have leverage in your favor. Forty-nine people to 10k. Are you serious, guys? If we've got guys, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna do the ten thousand dollar, ten thousand dollar, ten thousand k subscriber giveaway, man. We're gonna do the giveaways. Anyone seen the giveaway yet? If there's anyone new in here, can anyone, does anyone want to see the giveaway? Yeah, Rick Miller, yeah, 500 to 1, bro, but you have to understand how to use it. You know? You've never seen it. Has anyone, has anyone seen the 10,000 sub giveaway? I used um, lot sizes. Go into the video and have a w have a look. Yep. Did anyone not see it? I haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. Let's see it. Missed it earlier on. Okay. Let me put it up for you. 
The story behind this is one of our members, PC Shed, okay? Just watch that part where you see it, but he's donated effectively five, well, yeah, he's donated three shoes. He's brought these shoes, basically, all right? And this is the Trader's Reality shoe. Now, this is a shoe that I created it about a year ago. Never, you know, I've not sold any because I didn't want anyone to buy them because they were too expensive, all right? I wanted to buy them for myself, never got around to buying them. PC Shed comes along, who's been studying this approach, and he, in order for him to own one of these shoes, we need to sell seven orders, all right, to put them into production, and PC Shed decided to buy all seven orders, sorry, all five orders, and what we're gonna do with those shoes is we're gonna do giveaways, and the first giveaway is 10,000 subscribers, we're going to pick a subscriber at random wherever you are in the world and you're going to get yourself this trader's reality shoe you go you got the head right there and the tongue right there trader's reality kicks right there and that's the artwork so credit to um pc shed man credit to pc shed hong kong's doing its thing yeah let's have a look is hong kong doing its thing wait there here we go, guys. I need to bring you back to Ethereum. Sorry, I need to bring it back to the MT4 because we're going to see the true behavior of market makers at that point. True behavior. <laughs> uh, if you want the... Oh, God. The link's in the description for those shoes, guys. Don't want to spam up the, the chat, but the link in the description are in the... The link for those shoes are in the description. But that's crazy, man. If I see you... See people wearing these shoes on the street. Wow. You know? You'll be wearing them. You won't know if I've seen you wearing them. You know, that'll be cool. Hey, guys, look. Bitcoin's projection has been completed successfully. I said to you, once she hits this blue zone, she's going to move out of this zone. She's going to move out because it's a big area of purchase by the market makers. Because look, if you look here, all right, if we zoom out, what do you get? See that red candle up there? You see the red candles up there? Anyone that knows anyone in this stream, we know that when market makers are buying, they're selling at the tops. They induce traders to go short at the highs so they can buy cheaper and close longs at a higher price. So now what they're doing is they're coming back into that zone, all right? And look how price is just moving in that in favor of that. They're going to take that area out, man. They're going to go higher. Okay, price projection is easy 52. Easy 52.30. That's what I'm looking at. 52.300. Ethereum, she's going to hit the M4 shortly. Pulling up projections out. My days, man. Yeah, PC Shed made it happen, guys. <laughs> are you going to buy a pair now oh god um just listen um just wait oh god i can't the discount you can get for 30 you get a discount of 30 pounds wait there let me see let me just try and get a discount code for you guys let me get a discount code for you hold on if you want a pair of those shoes, I'll get you a discount code. So it takes like 30 quid off it. Hold on. Here we go. See what discount code they can give me. I can get at least, hold on. Okay. Ah, they're only giving me that one. Okay, right, guys, listen. Here we go. This one, they're only giving me 20 off it. So this is a discount code. Type in this discount. If you're going to get one of those shoes, guys, type in the discount code right there. It's in the chat. 
MFAA, all caps. Use that discount, discount code to get £20 off. I was trying to get the 30 and they're not letting me get the 30 for some reason. Normally it's £30 I can get taken off, but it's only 20 this time. They're not letting me do it. I'm trying for that. I'm trying. No, they won't give it to me. They won't give it to me. Man. $30, £30, yeah. Pretty right where we are, Ada. So I said 18, didn't we? Yeah, we did say 18 on Ada. Where's Bitcoin? Taking up Bitcoin's move in Ethereum's holding. Did you get the discount code? Here it is again. I'm just going to spam the chat with it. No, I'm not. Spam, there's the discount code. Shit. There you go, so you can see it. Here we go. Um, someone was asking for VET, hold on. VET USDT. Right, VET is still performing, it's still working its zone. I'm still waiting for that point. Let me see Bitcoin for a sec. Oh guys, I gotta show you Bitcoin, man. Oh, Bitcoin is there, sorry. Shit, what am I doing? Bitcoin is there, my bad. Ada will probably come back down. Yeah, Ada will probably come back down. Can you really quick check reef I'm a bit confused with the pattern. Can't tell if it's an M or a W. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. I just need to help you understand the projection right here. This projection is important. You're seeing you're seeing the how it works out. Yeah, can you see how price is breaking out of the zone? If we look back, we zoom out, what do we see? Look at the pattern. Can you see the pattern? Are we aiming for the M4? I mean, look, I said that if price hits this area, it's gonna continue through the area because it's a massive zone of orders where market makers built longs in that point. So now they're gonna wanna realize a return, which means that once they break out of this zone, we could be hitting the M4, the M4 zone. The M4 zone is right there. Happy days. That is beautiful what they're doing there. Wicked Bitcoin is moving nicely. Ethereum's gonna start moving now. Ethereum's gonna start moving. I'll start looking at the other coins, guys. Did Link hit my target? Link hit the target, are you serious? No way, Link hit the target. Let's have a look, did she hit it? Did Link hit the target? Oh my days, she did. She hit the target, guys. The the Link projection coming out all day. Man, I'm pulling out these projections for you. God, wicked. Is Ethereum gonna hit my projection? We are up 2K on Ren right now, boom. Hey, what's going on? Tahim Bench, what's what's going on? Real scared, you jerk off. What? What's that about? Why is this guy chatting like that, man? You can't be doing that. I'm just wait. Okay, let me just guy guys. You guys are going crazy with these coins man give me a second man let me do it man uh, guys i've also gone in i've done these coins previously as well guys so don't want to be repeating the same coins okay so grt let's have a look yep grt is selling off slightly as well okay um let's look at ada is ada performing ada look at that man Price projection, 18, that's what we want. 18 is the price projection for Ada. She's just about to hit it anytime soon. That's another projection in the bag. Another projection in the bag. Um, give me another one, GRT. Did I do, yeah, GRT there. I've done GRT. 
where we are. Um, um, like oh man, like Ren. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my days, man's like Ren. What did we say? Didn't we say one thirty? Do you know what Ren? Did we say one thirty? Reef, reef, reef. There we go, reef. Mm. Showing support at the 800 day moving average. Okay, it's quite a low, it's a low coin. So, and it's pulling back to the 50 day. It's on the 15 minute time frame. I need to see it on the hourly. Oof. You've actually got a lovely W form, a very sharp W formation here. Okay. Some would challenge and say it's an M pattern. But we're only going to know if it fails to break above the 50 day retrace continuation to the upside. I mean, projection zone, we could actually see 0 0.041. That's ideally where we want it to go, you know? Is that what I said? AVAX, oh, nice. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful formation. Drop, rise, drop, rise, retrace. What do we see at the 50-day moving average, guys? Hmm? What do we see? Pins to the low, pins to the low, pins to the low. Happy days. Moving across the chart. Let's do this. Okay, then. We've effectively given you guys price projections now. Okay? Um, every projection is hitting. You know? Every projection is hitting. And that's what this, this stream's about, guys. You know, no financial advice is given at all. You know, you, you have to be very careful with your investments, with the way you trade, whatever you do. Okay, I can't give you any financial advice. I can give you projections. Where do I think it's going to go? Don't follow my analysis. Look, embrace my analysis. Yeah, understand it so that you guys can make the informed decision. Yeah, so you guys can say, you know what? I took that trade myself. I made it myself because I understood the concept. You know, don't come into the streams and saying up or down. You know, where's Ethereum going to go next? What are you going to do? And what if this stream stops tomorrow? What are you going to do then? You, you know, nothing. You know? Don't do that to yourselves, man. One inch. I saw one inch. You know, understand the concept, man. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Double barrel here, man. Double barrel right there. Or you could take this trade right here. See if it plays out. Rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. We're only going to know if that's valid if it breaks above the 800 EMA, comes back to retest it and continues to the upside. We'll see if it plays out. The high, 4, yeah, 0.4. No, 4.3. Wicked, man. Guys, if you're making money, okay, make sure you pay it forward to people. Pay people, you know, treat someone. Um, help a family friend. Just go and do a random act of greatness, Yeah. Just go and look after someone. Go to someone and just say, here you go. Here's 500 quid to your mortgage, man. You know, trust me, you will feel amazing, man. It feels so good because you don't understand what someone has to do to earn that money. You know, again, look at this, guys. Pins to the low. Always pay attention. PC share, this one's for you, bro. Always consider what price is doing at the 50-day moving average. When it pulls away from the, um, from the peak formation... When it pulls away from it, always anticipate a move back, okay? So in theory, what you could do is when price is rising out of the formation, if you're missing the trade, out of the, if you're missing the breakout, okay, you could effectively trade back to the 50-day. That is an advanced it is an advanced strategy, guys. You've got to be careful, all right? And this is the sort of thing that I talk about with the members on the Saturday in Forex, okay? I'm going to start revealing, you know, certain attributes to trading, that I do, which are helping me effectively, continuously hit, you know, hit wins all the time. I do lose. Don't get it twisted, bro. I do lose, you know. I have lost my fair share, you know. I've lost 40 racks in a week, you know. And that's not a lot to, to some traders in the game. But I'm just, you know, training by myself. I don't have no massive following behind me. And like, you know, I don't have any teams of traders against with me. Now I've got a family of traders, you know, I've got a family of traders that are, you know, that are killing it in the discord, man. 
Tino, if I ever meet you, I'll buy you a kebab. Yo, man, you're a nice person, bro. You are a nice person, but I prefer a shot of whiskey. I do like my whiskey. Um, Wi-Fi. Who trades Wi-Fi? Adams. Oh, my days. Look at that, bro. Can you blame them as to why they trade it? God, look at that. Look at those patterns, man. I mean, if you do zoom out, you can see a massive W. But that's another story. I mean, Ethereum and Bitcoin. Bitcoin has effectively hit its first projection, right? I'm expecting Ethereum and Bitcoin now to retrace back to the 50-day on both the 15-minute time frames, all right? So that's what I'm looking to achieve. All right, then. So also, guys, is everyone in the room, yeah? Is everyone in here? Do you have some tips about different EMAs? Nope. Dastardly, I will not deviate away from these EMAs. I will not look at five, you know, 10-day moving averages, 100-day moving averages, you know, 17.3-day moving averages. You know, it's just wild. The moving averages that you see in front of us, guys, the 50, the, the, sorry, you've got the five, which is the yellow one. You've got the red one. Sorry, where am I doing, man? I haven't even changed my screen over. Hold on a sec. Let me just bring it up for you. Um, where are we at? Right, okay, cool. So, the moving averages that we've got here, all right? You can see you've got the 5 EMA, the 13 EMA, the 50-day EMA, which is this big, the big blue line here, baby blue line with the um, Bollinger Bands around it, all right? Then you've got the 200-day, which is the white line, and then you've got the... 800 day EMA which is the, the dark blue okay so those are the moving averages that I use because the market makers use them you know why would you want to use anything else why are the moving averages so useful for spring systems and what is it about them which makes them such good points Nathan the reason why I make them such good points is because it gives you it gives you insight into momentum. You know, what are they favoring? Because the simple strategy could be when price is above the 50 day, you go long. And when it's below the 50 day, you go short. Simple as. Please explain that in trading view as well. Extreme for media. Could you make a tutorial video on MT4? Could you make a tutorial video on MT4? Could you make a tutorial video on MT4? Yes. Check Zen, sorry. Sorry, man. Let me just check Zen, but Ethereum is moving, man. Ethereum is moving and so is Bitcoin. You're gonna see the last move right there. Here we go. Wi-Fi is doing it, man. Zen. See, guys, a lot of coins are going to be moving, man, especially light coins. There you go. Zen. Wow. That's not a light coin. That's moved perfectly. Guys, look. You need to show this to yourselves. You need to print this off, man. Look at that. You need to screenshot this, right? W formation. Go and study this pattern. Take the screenshot. Study it. Let me just set it up for you. Yeah? Yeah? Or just go and get the chart yourself. Bring it up on your screen. Study this, man. Look, it's a textbook W formation coming out of the zone. Look, breaks a 50-day moving average. Confirmation. If you look closely here, what have we got? Look at this. How disgusting is this, man? Market makers. <laughs> look at this. What can you see here, guys? One, two, three pins to the 50-day moving average. The 13-day crosses over. Price closes above. The 5 EMA, that's your signal. Pins the low, off it goes. I mean, there's nothing more I can say to you guys. Do you understand how we're able to get these projections down? Now you've got 50 day coming up to the 200. The big cross right there, that was to the downside. Now look where price is. Do you understand? Look where price is right there. Okay. Should I be focusing on some altcoins holding the big coins long term? Sorry for the noob questions. No, don't worry about it, man.
Crypto Creek, look, let me explain something to you, okay? This is why you need to understand. All right, watch this. If you've been watching the stream, okay, from the start, you would have known that we're saying that Bitcoin's effectively gonna go to 52K because this is the zone, all right? And it's hit that zone, all right? We were talking about it down here, all right? I was talking about Bitcoin going to 52 down here, all right? Now, look where it's at. It's progressively working to the 52 mark. Granted, it's not just gonna keep going up straight, bro. You know, it has to retrace back. But what we can see right now is it's not retracing. So, I mean, we can only go by what it's doing right now. If I said it's going to go and retrace and it doesn't retrace, does that invalidate the system? No. You know? So, don't don't overthink it, man. Is the Discord better than the channel? I mean, the community is in the Discord, bro. You're going to enjoy it. Ada's going for the target right now. Oh, man, I can't keep switching in, in and out of screens, man. Is Ada going for the target that we said, yeah? Okay, then. There you go, guys. 18. I said 1.8. All right. And Ethereum is now on its way to achieving the 1.8 mark. I just don't believe this, man. Look at that. There you go. 3, 2, 1. Come on. Hit it. Hit the 18. Hit the 18. Hit the 18. Come on. Hit the 18. Yeah, she's hitting the 18. Once she hits the 18, that's it. Happy days, guys. Happy days. Nice one watching. Guys, just to let you know, okay? Just to let you know that I stream every single day got a stream tomorrow morning from about half past nine quarter to ten maybe ten o'clock and we just do music in the background and we just do a little bit of a chat i sometimes come into the chat so i'm not continuously in it but we just sat and you know we sit and watch levels my goal is to get you guys to you know see as many variations of the patterns as possible because you guys need screen time it's no good putting your head in a book okay no good because you need to experience it in real time and witness the patterns playing out all right so that's what we do and then in the evening we summarize the evening with you know the day's events and we talk about projections that were made during the day projections that we can look at in the evening and we do this every single day all right except on a saturday because saturday it's only for members only we talk about you know forex strategies as well and anyone that wants to know anything about forex because this concept that i'm applying into crypto is actually engineered for forex okay yeah it was a sound for a vape all right so listen guys more importantly is this um i'm gonna bring the stream to an end all right firstly i just want to thank you all and i don't know have we hit the 10k subscribers mike can you verify that have we hit 10k subscribers i don't know if we've hit 10k Have we hit 10K yet? 44 to go. Has anybody not subscribed? Ah, 15 left. No. No, 985. Nah, 44 to go. What? Nah, Chuck Woods. Nah, man. Nothing like that. Can I see Bitcoin going to 60K? Of course, man. I do see it. You know? 9.56, wicked. Can I run round up to you? <laughs> if anyone hasn't subscribed, guys, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to do the 10,000 subscription getaway. Getaway? Giveaway. Courtesy of PC Shed. Make sure you subscribe to my guy as well. But, um, yeah. I just want to thank you guys all tonight, man. You've, you've smashed it tonight, guys. We've been smashing price projections all night, and we do this on a regular basis, guys. Why? Because I'm trying to help you guys understand the pattern, all right? It's important that you understand this pattern, okay? So, yeah, wicked, man. Wicked, Danita. 
Okay, so listen, welcome to the channel if you're new. Mad love to all my peoples that come to the channel, man. Enough respect to you guys, all right? But we co we continue tomorrow, man, you know? Money doesn't sleep, it naps, you know? It doesn't, you know, it chills. It never sleeps, you know? And the community is everything, guys. This community is fire, all right? So, mad love to all of you, all right? Mad love to all the, you know, music from Billy Hoyle. Thank you so much for your music, brother. Everyone helping everyone in the stream, all right? Stay tuned, guys, because we got some big things happening, all right? We got some big things happening. Credit to PC Shed for letting it happen, all right? Mad respect to all of you guys. Take it easy.